Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Swamp Lord. I have an intelligence system. Chapter 81. Except for the first six star gold intelligence, this intelligence is the most valuable. Each one is very useful, and can't even be judged by the value marked. The last four star purple intelligence is even more explosive. It's about divinity again. Lear took a few deep breaths and couldn't suppress his excitement. Too fierce, too awesome. Look at it again from the first one. The fact that the dragon blood red fish never opened its mouth to eat troubled him for many days. These two star magical creatures not only taste rare in the world, but also can permanently improve physical strength. It has great breeding value. It is much more promising than the breeding in the book of getting rich. Now I have a direct solution. Comfortable. It's nothing more than not finding the right food to feed the other party. Who would have thought that the food the other party likes to eat is hidden deep in the mud? The second piece of information about the wetland lizard man. The new wetland lizard man will pass by the day after tomorrow, and the other party also carries the taboo secret recipe of the lizard man's exclusive army. Although the power in his hands has been greatly improved after enslaving the swamp wasps. But the swamp wasps cannot completely replace the normal troops such as the wetland lizard men. They are assassins with high attack and low blood, and they will suffer a lot of losses in every battle. The enemy encountered is stronger, even if you win, you have to pay a big price. If they are used to attack with ground troops, the effect will be more impressive. The cold-blooded cavalry, a lizard man exclusive unit, also made Lear very interested. He has never heard of this unit, but since it can be marked by the intelligence system, it must be extraordinary. Ask Hags tomorrow. The third piece of information, worth three stars colorful moss, suitable for feeding three-tailed pigs. The three-tailed pigs eat everything, but by the same token, since it can be marked as three stars by the intelligence system, it is definitely not ordinary. If it wasn't late at night, he would have planned to set off immediately to find it. The pig raising plan cannot be delayed. The fourth piece of information surprised him even more. The lifespan of the swamp wasp is only three months, and the queen of the swamp can only live for three years. If he hadn't received the information, he would have reacted only when the swamp wasps died in large numbers. Fortunately, the information came in time. The blood essence produced by the Mosquito Queen can extend the lifespan of the Swamp Wasps and the Queen Bee. These insects are so powerful. Lear's eyes flickered. In this case, he needed to get the Mosquito Queen as soon as possible. He didn't want the insect swarm he had just controlled to decay and become extinct in a few months. But the Mosquito Queen is a level 13 hero unit, and he must be fully prepared. The last purple information made Lear's heart surge. This is the first time that four-star information has been refreshed in so many days. The refresh rate is a bit low, but the information content is very powerful. Divinity. The Dark Naga actually hid such a good thing. However, the bigger the wind and waves, the more expensive the fish is. The opponent who can protect the divinity of four stars will definitely not be a soft persimmon. Moreover, I had heard from Delsa before that the Dark Naga had recruited a Cyclops. This made those lives even more mysterious. They should not be underestimated. Lear withdrew his thoughts and his eyes became deeper. If all these pieces of information were completed one by one, the foundation of the city of Weilu would be more abundant. Perhaps it would not be long before we could consider expanding the territory and conquering the entire swamp. It took a long time for me to calm down and then I slowly fell asleep. The next morning, Lear woke up at dawn and called Bane, who was also busy. He gave orders directly. There are large areas of silt at the bottom of the pool where the dragon blood red fish lives, and a unique aquatic plant, fishtail grass grows in its depths. These are the daily food of the dragon blood red fish. Send someone to salvage some and try to plant some next to the territory. Bane's eyes lit up. I didn't expect to find a solution so quickly. This dragon blood red fish is almost sick of not eating, and has been talking about it these days. The Lord is worthy of being the Lord. He immediately found two teams of swamp people and told them to go and salvage fishtail grass. The distance is not far, and the area has been cleared, so there is no need to worry too much about safety. Seeing this, Lear was not idle either. He waved his hand to call Haggis and took two teams of wetland lizard men to the north. The colorful moss is just two kilometers away, very close. On the way, 
he asked about the news of the cold-blooded cavalry with some curiosity. Haggis had some emotion on his face when he heard it. Master, the cold-blooded cavalry is very powerful and is the most ferocious cavalry of the lizardmen. A squadron of cold-blooded cavalry can defeat several times the enemies of the same level and equipment. But the training method of this type of soldiers has always been kept secret and is only controlled by some large tribes. Lear smiled and said meaningfully, I think you will soon be able to see the cold-blooded cavalry of the city of Wei Lu. Haggis was stunned, and then a huge surprise appeared on his face. Lear has already established absolute prestige in their hearts these days. His status has almost reached the extreme. He couldn't say this without being sure. His mood was high, and his eyes were full of admiration for the cold-blooded cavalry, a nearly legendary existence among the lizardmen. He didn't expect that one day he would be able to see and even command them. Praise the Lord! He led the crowd through the swamp in front and soon came to a muddy muddy area. There were low grasses all around, and there was a dead pool here, which was not difficult to confirm. Lear turned his head and looked around, waving his hand to let the army disperse to search. Seven color moss, as the name suggests, this thing should be colorful. He bent down and began to search on the muddy shore. Moss is as common in swamps as silt. It is all over the half dry and half wet shore. After searching for a few minutes, Lear, who was walking in front of him with a bent waist, paused. A palm-sized piece of moss appeared in his sight, two or three centimeters thick, with long hairs and several colors on it. Although the color is not bright, if you look carefully, you can still see six or seven colors on it. He was slightly happy, stretched out his hand to dig out a circle from the periphery, and then carefully pulled up the moss, not caring about the dirt, and held it in the palm of his hand. It was heavy and quite heavy. Looking at it intently, its attribute panel immediately appeared in his mind. Colorful moss. Magic plant. Level 1 star. Features super strong growth. As long as there is enough nutrition, it can reproduce and grow at a very fast speed. Evaluation. If there is enough nutrition, its growth rate is beyond imagination. Colorful moss is actually a 1 star magic plant. Lear's eyes lit up. Its attributes are not complicated, but this super strong growth is very interesting. But to what extent, we will have to test it later. After finding the target, Lear did not stay for long, gathered his subordinates, and returned to the territory with the colorful moss. At this time, the mud people who went to find fishtail grass had already set off, and Bane was discussing the pig farm with seven or eight mud people. Seeing Lear return, he hurried forward to report. Sir, after our discussion, we all agreed that the pig farm can be built three kilometers southeast of the territory. There is a large piece of flat, dry and hard land there. And this direction is always downwind, and the water flows downward, so there is less pollution. The increase in the number of three-tailed pigs in the future will not affect the territory. Secondly, it is not far from the farmland area, and it is also convenient to use pig manure for composting in the future. Lear nodded. Then let's set it here. Let's arrange people to cut down trees and build pig pens today. He took out the colorful moss. Bane, bring some pig manure. Bane was stunned. Manure, what is the Lord going to do? But he didn't hesitate and immediately turned around to let the mud man next to him go down. After a while, he filled half a bucket of manure. Although he only slept for one night yesterday, the three-tailed pigs had a lot of manure. Lear handed the colorful moss to the bog man with the bucket. Take some soil and mix it with feces, then plant the moss and try it. The bog man touched his head, not understanding his lord's idea. This moss is everywhere in the swamp, and it needs to be planted specially. But he didn't dare to be vague, and immediately took some soil and mixed it with feces, then carefully picked up the moss, dug a small hole, and planted it in the bucket. Seeing this, Lear looked at Bane with a puzzled face and whispered. This is colorful moss, and we will use it to feed the three-tailed pigs in the future. Bane looked a little stunned. My lord, isn't this too little? The food that twenty-three-tailed pigs eat in a day is probably more than three hundred people. A 600 kilogram fat pig, how long will it take to plant such a little moss before it can be taken out to feed it? Lear was about to speak and the bog man who planted the colorful moss suddenly exclaimed. It's growing, it's growing. What's growing? Bane turned his head subconsciously. 
In the wooden barrel mixed with feces, the seven-colored moss was growing at a speed visible to the naked eye. The thin and long hairs were swaying like octopus savings. The moss on the edge was like a video that was accelerated 10 or 50 times. First, it sprouted, then quickly aged, and grew thin but colorful long hairs on it. Continuously, under his astonished gaze, the palm-sized seven-colored moss only took 10 minutes to cover the wooden barrel, and then began to grow up along the barrel wall. This magical picture made Lear watch with relish. Bane and the Swamp Man were even more stunned. This, this can be so long. This is simply a miracle. I felt refreshed. When I came to my senses, I immediately felt ashamed of my ignorance. Just based on them, I dared to doubt the adults. How could they imagine the adults' methods? He immediately lowered his head, not daring to look at Lear. Half an hour later, the colorful moss had grown to fill a large bucket. The original half bucket of feces was completely covered with moss, and finally even overflowed from the bucket. Full of vitality, until it hung down to the surface of the bucket, the moss gradually slowed down its growth until it stopped completely. Seeing this, Lear was also very curious. Waving his hand, he asked the mud man to pull out all the colorful moss. The mud man stepped forward, inserted his two hands into the moss, and pulled out all the mud underneath. Looking carefully, the feces below had completely disappeared. Only some black residue was seen at its roots. As long as there is enough nutrition, it can reproduce and grow at a very fast speed. Lear only now understands how exaggerated the other party's characteristics are. No wonder the intelligence prompts that it is suitable for feeding three pigs. One can eat and the other can grow. It's a match made in heaven. Pig farm, it can definitely be done. In a good mood, he said loudly. Bane, open up a piece of farmland next to the pig farm to plant colorful moss. I think the feces of the three pigs have a place to go. The growth of colorful moss requires a lot of nutrients, and the feces of the three pigs is the best fertilizer. After the colorful moss grows, it can be provided to the three pigs for food. After eating, the other party will poop again. What is a perfect closed loop? The excited Bane nodded repeatedly. The growth rate of this thing is too exaggerated perfect for making pig feed. Immediately, people were summoned to cut down trees and build pig pens. In order to speed up the progress, about 200 people were directly ordered and the three-tailed pigs were driven to the flat land three kilometers southeast. Building a pigsty doesn't have to be too complicated. You just need to keep the pigs in a pen, prevent them from running around, and prevent sneak attacks by wild beasts. In the future, as the number increases, troops will definitely be stationed here. With the strength of many people, enough trees were soon cut down to surround an open space with a diameter of a hundred meters. It is more than enough to raise these twenty-three tailed pigs. Lear looked at the three-tailed pig that was imprisoned inside, feeling quite happy. He directed the crowd to open up a large open space in the mud next to the pig pen. Divide the colorful moss into dozens of parts and place one piece far apart. This piece of muddy land was originally fertile, and after the colorful moss was placed there, it started a show of crazy growth. However, the fertility is still not as good as that of pig excrement. After half a palm grows to a full palm, it slowly stops growing. After spreading it out, Lear saw it more clearly. The colorful moss has absorbed all the fertility of the surrounding five or six meters of land. The originally dark mud turned a little white, and even the smell faded. These moss grow quickly, but their demand for fertility is indeed exaggerated. But it doesn't seem like a bad thing. While thinking, Lear thought of some key points and looked at Bane happily. Take some of it back to Wailu City later for planting. Bane was a little confused. Return to the city to plant. This is a bit difficult to use. The territory is only so wide. Lear nodded. The toilets in the territory are still temporary, right? I will give you a rough drawing of the septic tank later, and you can have someone build one first. In the future, everyone must gather together to go to the toilet. Beside the septic tank, build a planting area of colorful moss. The daily waste of residents is all natural fertilizer. As he talked, Lear felt more and more the magical effects of the colorful moss. Don't talk about excrement like feces. Daily kitchen waste and dirty sewers can eventually flow into colorful moss. This thing is no longer fodder, it can completely become a cleaning tool for the territory. 
It is also harmless and does not require any energy or resources. And after it grows and reproduces, it can also be used to feed three-tailed pigs. This is serious biological pollution control. After opening my mind, my eyes changed instantly when I looked at the colorful moss. Bane was stunned at first, and then he became excited after thinking about it. I immediately felt like a new world had opened up. How could this thing be played like this? Sir, this is a wonderful idea. Genius idea. Perfect idea. I'll make arrangements right away. Lear laughed. There is no rush. The most urgent task is to let the three-tailed pigs give birth to more cubs as soon as possible to multiply the group. Three-tailed pigs can give birth to one litter every four months, with at least ten piglets in each litter. With this exaggerated reproduction speed, the number can increase dozens of times in just one or two years. Once it reaches scale, it's time to harvest. After thinking about it, he summoned the level 11 two-headed ogre chief. This person is an expert in raising pigs. After all, the three-tailed pig is a treasure that he needs to take with him when he flees. Soon, I, who was nearly three meters tall and looked like a little giant, walked quickly with two heads on his head. When he saw Lear, he immediately raised his chest and bowed respectfully. Good day, master. Lear nodded and motioned to the pig pen that was surrounded in front of him. Three-tailed pigs will be raised here in the future. You need to teach the staff here about breeding methods. Bane has already arranged for ten people to be responsible for future breeding. Hearing this, they all looked at the two-headed ogre chief curiously. The smaller sub-head on its neck still had its eyes closed, like a sculpture, and the main head opened its mouth. Sir, the reproduction of three-tailed pigs is very simple. Just feed them enough and they will reproduce naturally. And their mating success rate is extremely high. They don't need to be managed at all. The only thing you have to pay attention to is not to let them starve. Lear's mouth twitched, foodies are easy to feed, right? After finishing speaking, I pointed to the nearest three-tailed pig and said, those with erect ears are boars, and those with drooped ears are sows. Of these twenty, sixteen are sows, and all of them are pregnant with cubs. It is expected to be produced by the end of the month. Lear felt it was amazing that he could tell how long he was pregnant and what kind of baby he would give birth to at a glance. What kind of magical vet is this? Looking at Lear's surprised gaze, I'd explained with a little pride. Master, this is all a long-term experience. Three-tailed pigs have faint lines on their abdomens, which appear every month or so. You can identify them if you look at them more often. Lear gave a thumbs up. When it comes to raising pigs, you have to be a pig. I wouldn't care to read the book of getting rich without you. Let the two-headed ogre chief pass on all his experience to the breeding staff. After working for more than two hours, the first batch of glorious pig farm breeding experts were trained. The meat on the table of Weilu City in the future will all depend on them. After the matter here was dealt with, another good news came back. The fishtail grass was caught. Lear immediately took Bane to the fish farm in the north to check curiously. At this time, more than a dozen vine-woven frames on the ground were filled with dark green water plants. The leaves of these water plants looked like fish tails, which was very strange. However, it was obviously just fished out and there was still a lot of silt on it that had not been cleaned up. The dragon blood red fish in the fish pond smelled the smell at this moment, and it kept splashing on the water surface, appearing quite anxious. Fishtail grass. Characteristics contains relatively rich energy. Evaluation. These water plants will take root in the deep mud to absorb nutrients. Fishtail grass has no level and its attributes are also very simple. Lear curiously stepped forward to pick up a handful, cleaned it by the water, and then threw it directly into the fish pond in front. Hualala, the dragon blood red fish with long beard, bright colors and slender body immediately looked like a wolf that smelled blood. It swung its tail wildly, opened its mouth wide and began to grab food. It was in sharp contrast to its previous appearance of not saying anything. This large handful of fishtail grass was eaten up in a few bites. It was obviously hungry these days. My lord, there is still a silt vacant land here. We can plant these fishtail grass here. Bane's tone was a little happy. The problem of the dragon blood red fish was solved, which made him feel relieved. These two star magical lives can finally be fed. Lear nodded happily. Raise them all. 
Isn't it just like this to develop a territory, open up planting little by little, raise various livestock and poultry, and at the same time develop the army and strengthen yourself? At present, everything is going well. After these two things were dealt with, Li Er, who was in a good mood, looked up at the sky. With a thought, he asked the swamp wasps flying above his head to call the swamp queen bee. The internal affairs have been settled, it's time to do something bloody. The lifespan of the swamp wasps is only three months, which is too outrageous. And only the blood essence produced by the mosquito queen can prolong their lives. This matter cannot be delayed for too long, the sooner the better. He is not sure how long these swamp wasps have lived. If their lifespan expires in two days, and 30,000 or 50,000 are killed at once, it will be a headache. First, attack the Mosquito Queen, stabilize the strategic forces in hand, and then plan other things. Queen Akania soon arrived from her temporary habitat. With a wingspan of more than half a meter, black and yellow stripes all over her body, her wings are thin but as strong and sharp as steel. The curved abdomen carries a sharp tail needle more than 30 centimeters long. It reflects a cold light, which is so ferocious that it makes people tremble. Once an attack is launched, even a heavily armored warrior will be easily penetrated. From the perspective of body structure, this is a killing machine born for fighting. And he still has 90,000 such a youthful version of the Queen Bee. I feel particularly happy when I think of this. But when I come to my senses, I still have to face the reality that their lifespan will run out. Lear took a deep breath and looked solemn. Akania, how long is the lifespan of the swamp wasp? After thinking for a moment, the queen bee's mental power escaped. Master, the first batch of wasps with a number of more than 30,000 will die at the end of the month. The rest will also complete their mission at the end of next month. Lear's eyes condensed. This matter really can't be delayed. 30,000 wasps, this is one-third of the force. No joke. What about you? I was born just three months ago, and I still have nearly three years to live. The voice of the queen bee in Lear's mind was a little proud. Lear's mouth twitched. Why are you so proud of only living for two more years? Do you know the flesh and blood giant mosquito? Although the swamp wasps are nearly 20 kilometers away from the territory of the flesh and blood giant mosquito, their range of activities is definitely not small to feed so many subordinates. The chance of the two tribes meeting is very high. Sure enough, the queen bee immediately responded indignantly. Those mosquitoes have robbed us of prey several times. If I hadn't completed my transformation, I would definitely settle accounts with them. Lear said in a deep voice. Our hunting target this time is the leader of the flesh and blood giant mosquitoes, the Mosquito Queen. The blood essence it produces can extend the life of the swamp wasps and you. The compound eyes of the swamp queen bee suddenly became sharp, like a wolf about to hunt. Emotions fluctuated. Master, she shouted in a hurried tone, without saying anything, but the meaning she wanted to express was already revealed. Who would be willing to die if they could survive? The desire for survival is the most basic instinct of all life. There was no choice before, but now there is hope. The feeling is different again. Call all swamp wasps. Get ready to go. The swamp queen was immediately excited. She raised her head and let out a penetrating hissing roar. The next moment, buzzing. As if the nest had been poked, the sky suddenly became restless. Countless swamp wasps flapped their wings and rushed from all directions, and the light dimmed instantly. The surging sound made it difficult to hear what people were saying. Lear took advantage of the gap when the swamp wasps gathered and looked at Bane. How are the poisonous herbs I asked you to prepare to deal with the stinking giants? After the successful ambush of the swamp wasps with the black dragon broadleaf grass, his mind suddenly opened up. Similar methods will not be bad for dealing with insects. The efficiency of slapping mosquitoes to death with your hands is far less than lighting a plate of mosquito coils. The right medicine for the right disease. The ruins occupied by the stinking giant monster should also emerge today, but there are priorities, and the mosquito queen is more important. Stabilize the swamp wasps, and the stinking giant monster can be solved at any time. Bane said in a deep voice. My lord, a total of more than 20 kinds of poisonous herbs have been collected and handed over to Danya for research. I will call her here immediately. Lear had never heard of this name. Who is Danya? Bane smiled bitterly. This is my adopted granddaughter. 
She likes to study alchemy by nature and is very naughty. But she is also quite talented. Yesterday, she successfully synthesized an alchemical poison that is quite fierce. Lee immediately became interested and asked Bane to go down and call for help. After waiting for a while, Bane brought a little girl of the swamp people who was about 1.4 meters tall and had a childish face. She looked no more than 13 or 14 years old. She timidly held Bane's hand, half hiding behind him, slightly poking her head out, and looking at him curiously with algae green eyes. Lee's face looked a little strange. You let this little girl study poisonous plants and insects. What alchemy is there? Bane pulled the little girl forward. My lord, this little girl's parents died when she was young, and I have always raised her. She is a little shy. Danya, salute my lord. The little girl blushed and dared not look at him. She gently supported her chest and said in a low voice. Lord, good day. The weak voice was drowned out by the wasps in the sky. Lear raised his eyebrows slightly. Good day, Danya Bane said that the research on poisonous plants is handed over to you. Have you made any research results recently? We are going to hunt a giant mosquito that is more than ten times larger than ordinary mosquitoes. We need your help. Hearing this, the little girl suddenly became energetic. She slowly stretched out her right hand and pulled the clothes slightly. A black and red, quite creepy black spotted red bloodworm slowly crawled from the sleeve to the back of her hand. Lord, I have studied a lot. The swamp spider venom sac you sent is mixed with the venom of the black spotted red bloodworm, plus the mist grass, the lost soul blue heart flower, and the nightmare grass. He spat out a dozen names that Lear had never heard of before, and finally said. I dried seven of them completely, dried four to half dry, and completely raw to two. Then I sprinkled venom on them to create highly toxic smoke. Ordinary people will go crazy when they smell it and directly attack the surrounding life. After exhaustion, the heart will stop beating and the blood vessels in the whole body will burst. Speaking of this, there was a bit of excitement in his eyes. This is the most interesting alchemical potion I have ever studied. He said looking at Lear happily. Lord, the black spotted red bloodworms you recovered are really great. Their venom has the function of regulating and stabilizing other poisons, which is why the effect is so good. He said and handed over the cloth bag in his hand. I prepared this. I call it, black spotted blood worm powder. After ignited, it will take effect. The tone is innocent and lively, with a bit of the coquettishness unique to little girls. Lear's expression became quite complicated. Are all Meyerman girls so fierce? There was a black spotted bloodworm over 20 centimeters long crawling on the back of the opponent's hand, which made his eyelids jump. Bane listened from behind, feeling a little proud and a little worried. Looking at his niece's eyes, doting and helplessness were mixed together. Sir, Dania has some talent in this area. Lear reached out and took it, subconsciously opening the gray bag. Bane's expression changed and he quickly stopped him. Sir, let me try. Danya whispered from the side. Lord, you don't need to worry. I added several poisonous weeds to suppress the toxicity. It will only take effect if it is ignited. Lear waved his hand, stopped Bane, and opened it directly. You can see that the small bag contains poison that has been ground into powder. You can faintly see some blue liquid mixed with it, and there are still some slight traces on it. After opening the bag, there was no smell. Looking at it intently, the attribute panel quietly emerged in my mind. Black spot blood worm powder. Alchemical poison. Level, 3 stars. Characteristics After being mixed and refined with more than 10 kinds of poisonous weeds and poisonous insects, it can release ferocious smoke after being ignited, which can make the inhaler go crazy and attack the life around him crazily. After the toxicity, the heart will stop beating and the blood vessels will burst. Evaluation This is a potion refined by a genius alchemist with a flash of inspiration. It is extremely toxic. Lear's eyes became quite subtle. Good guy. It's actually a three-star alchemical poison. Looking at the timid little swamp girl, her expression immediately changed. How old is this person to be able to refine a three-star alchemy potion? What kind of talent is this? Why did he only find out now? Donia, how much black spotted bloodworm meal did you make? No, all the materials Grandpa Bane gave me have been used up, that's all. Lear glanced at Bane. Give all the materials in the warehouse to Danya, 
and she will be responsible for managing and making alchemy items in the future. After speaking, he looked at the young swamp girl. Donia, I need a lot of black spotted bloodworm powder now. If I give you enough materials, how long will it take for you to make it? The girl's eyes immediately lit up. If I can get people to cooperate with me, I can make all the poison in two hours. Lear felt happy and immediately waved his hand. Do it now. Yes, Lord Lord. When Bane brought the excited little girl down, he opened the panel in his mind. Danya, level, level 5. Occupation, craftsman, alchemist. Potential, not fully awake. Racial talent, craftsman's heart. Skills, skillful hands. Extraordinary alchemy, two stars, has a strong perception of alchemical items. During immersive research, there is a chance to improve the quality of first-level alchemical items. Evaluation, the little alchemist whose talent has not yet fully awakened gained the knowledge of alchemists in an accidental encounter. Her flash of inspiration may be able to create miracles. Lear was a little surprised. Danya is still young and still has plenty of room to grow. In the future, Wailu City might be able to have a top-notch alchemist. Alchemists are different from mages in that they use the materials themselves to blend and mix them to get the alchemy items they want. Mages use the power of magic to research and create items. The two paths are not the same. But in comparison, the number of alchemists is no more than that of mages, or even less. This is a profession that requires extremely high levels of knowledge and talent. It also has extremely promising future and development space. With the assistance of a large number of people, Dania quickly produced two sacks of black spotted blood worm powder. The whole production process is not difficult, the difficulty lies in coming up with a suitable formula. The same highly toxic substance, different proportions, and different degrees of dryness and humidity have completely different effects. Lear felt very comfortable after getting two sacks of three-star alchemical poison, and he praised Dania profusely. Great job. I'll leave all supplies like this to you in the future. Research more, it will come in handy in the future. Yes, Lord Lord. The little girl was very happy to be praised, and her smile was particularly bright. The black-spotted red bloodworm on her hand seemed to sense her emotions, and it also propped up half of its body and shook. The faces of the people around her changed. Lear smiled. He didn't say much. During the gap in making potions, the army had gathered, and he immediately led the team to the location of the flesh and blood giant mosquito. He only brought four teams of wetland lizardmen, and the remaining squadron stayed in the territory. The main force of this battle was the mud swamp wasp. Without air defense means, participating in the battle was not very effective. There were also bubble beasts and swamp banshees accompanying them. The two-headed ogre chieftain had led the way in front. The sky was a dark mass of fierce and brutal mud swamp wasps. The exaggerated number, just a glance, can make people feel cold all over. With mud swamp wasps accompanying them, everyone felt a surge in security. The speed of travel was very fast, but it took several hours to travel 20 kilometers, and it was not until afternoon that they arrived. After crossing a haystack and emerging from the water, the two-headed ogre chieftainette, who was leading the way, immediately became energetic. Master, two kilometers ahead is the habitat of those mosquitoes. Lear's eyes fixed. He turned his head to look at the queen bee beside him. Akania, let all the muddy wasps lower their altitude and fly close to the ground. Don't expose yourself. The muddy wasps, which were already flying at a low altitude of 3 to 5 meters, immediately descended and flapped their wings half a meter high close to the ground. Insects are much more flexible than birds, and can even hover in the air for a long time, which most birds cannot do. The speed of travel slowed down, passed through several reeds, and stepped into a tall forest. Although the trees were sparse, they were already in patches. At the signal of the two-headed ogre chieftain, Lear turned his eyes and looked. A shocking scene was reflected in the sight. Two or three hundred meters ahead, huge pitcher plants were entwined on the tall tree trunks, and the lush green leaves were condensed with drops of dew. The red and green pitcher plants looked like trash cans that could be stepped on, with green lids hanging on them. But they were different from ordinary pitcher plants that were the size of a palm. These pitcher plants seemed to be magnified a hundred times, and were much taller than people. More than two meters, they looked like bloody mouths looking at the sky, ready to swallow beasts at any time. 
The number of pitcher plants was densely packed, hundreds and thousands, and it was impossible to count them. What was even more surprising was that huge black and white spotted mosquitoes flapped their wings and went in and out of the pitcher plants. Its body was about one-third the size of a fist, and its mouth had a mouthpart as sharp as a steel pipe, with a wingspan of more than 20 centimeters. Nepenthes evolved to prey on mosquitoes, but at this moment, those giant bloody mosquitoes seemed to regard the Nepenthes as their nest. It is hard to imagine how many mosquitoes live in these thousands of giant Nepenthes. The two-headed ogre chief showed a bit of coldness in his eyes. Master, it was these mosquitoes that killed the three-tailed pig we raised. He even had to take the three-tailed pig with him when he escaped, and these mosquitoes actually robbed his pig in front of him. Li Er's eyes narrowed slightly. Where is the mosquito queen? The fleshy giant mosquitoes are the same as the last exploration, all of which are level 3 monsters. The threat is not great. The level 13 mosquito queen is the most difficult point in the hunting operation. From level 10 upwards, every level increase will increase its combat power by a large margin. At this moment, the strongest combat power in his hand is the level 11 two-headed ogre chief. But in the battle of flying life, this ogre can't get involved at all. Do you see the big tree with reddish moss growing on it? The queen mosquito is hiding inside. Lear looked intently. In the central area, a giant pitcher plant that was wrapped around a tree and nearly twice as big as other similar plants appeared in sight. Its height was nearly four meters. The perception spread out, and Shang could faintly sense that a ferocious life was sleeping inside. Its breath was much stronger than the queen swamp bee and the two-headed ogre chieftain around him. And the terrible thing was that the other party seemed to be in the process of transformation. I could feel the vitality of a dragon egg hatching. My heart tightened. I can't wait. The other party was already level 13, and I don't know how ferocious it would be after the transformation was completed. He turned his head to look at the bubble beast. Ignite the black spotted bloodworm powder to compress the air and store it in bubbles. Then bury the bubbles underground and set up an ambush circle. Swamp Banshee, wait for the Mosquito Queen to appear and enter the ambush circle, and immediately use singing to interfere with it so that it doesn't find the bubbles in advance. Akania, you led some of the muddy swamp wasps to attack the fleshy giant mosquito and attract the arrival of the Mosquito Queen. Lead it to the ambush circle and wait for an opportunity to escape. We have only one goal this time, the Mosquito Queen. This area is too far from the center. The maximum control distance of the bubble beast is only 200 meters. It is impossible to reproduce the scene of the previous attack on the muddy swamp wasps. The combat power of the 13th level mosquito queen is definitely not something that ordinary life can resist. However, he currently has a great advantage, the enemy is in the dark. You can make full use of the first mover advantage and set traps to kill. Secondly, there are enough swamp wasps for the finale. 90,000 is enough to set off a natural disaster storm. Even if half of them are destroyed this time, no, all of them are destroyed, the Mosquito Queen must be taken down. If she can't take down the swamp wasps in her three-month lifespan, she can only wait for the swamp wasps to die one by one. He doesn't want the swamp wasps to become a temporary experience card for one month. The order was issued, and everyone started to act. Bubble Beast blew out bubbles and put the burning black spotted bloodworm powder into them. Thick smoke gathered quickly in the bubbles, and the latter was almost turning into substance. After gathering to a certain extent, Lear commanded Bubble Beast to bury the bubbles. Bubble Beast used bubbles to push open the soft soil, and then filled the mud with other bubbles. After the bubbles were buried, they quietly spread them on, and the excess was thrown directly to the back. The camouflage was not tight, but there was no difference in the ground. When the battle broke out, this was the main battlefield. In the chaos, it was even more impossible to notice the difference here. Do all this. Li Er took a deep breath. He led the wetland lizard warriors to protect the bubble beast and retreated to the rear first, away from the main battlefield. He found a big tree and watched the movement in front from above. After everything was done, he looked at the queen bee beside him. Akania, do it. The queen bee immediately raised her head and made a low hissing sound. The next moment, the sky and the earth suddenly dimmed. Countless muddy swamp wasps were like a surging tide, transformed into arrows, and rushed directly to the flesh and blood giant mosquitoes in and out of the pitcher plants. 
The level 5 muddy swamp wasps, facing the level 3 flesh and blood giant mosquitoes, instantly broke out in a tragic fight. On the curved abdomen of the muddy queen bee, the 10-centimeter long tail stinger was like a steel needle, piercing the flesh and blood giant mosquito fiercely during high-speed flight. The flesh and blood giant mosquito was caught off guard and melted like a snowflake encountering a flame. In the blink of an eye, the flesh and blood giant mosquitoes in front were cleared. But soon, the flesh and blood mosquitoes started to make a commotion. A buzzing warning sound was heard. A few breaths later, thousands of giant pitcher plants swarmed with dense giant mosquitoes. The space suddenly became dim and crowded, and there were only black and white spots in sight. The mosquitoes formed a black tide and launched a fierce counterattack against the swamp wasp. A flesh and blood mosquito collided with the swamp wasp at high speed, and its sharp mouthparts pierced into the wasp's body, opening a huge hole. Half of its wings were torn off, and it collided directly with the flesh and blood mosquito in front, then fell down and smashed into the moss. Crazy, tragic, this is a bloody battle between insects. With the home advantage, the number of flesh and blood mosquitoes is several times more than that of swamp wasps. However, the swamp wasps with higher levels and stronger combat power always take the initiative on the field. Crazy killing of all flesh and blood mosquitoes that can be reached. Blood plasma burst, and wings and body parts splashed everywhere. Lear watched hundreds of thousands of insects fighting each other from behind, and felt an inexplicable shock. This strong visual impact is unmatched by any blockbuster on Earth. The crazy killing and the noise of flapping wings finally affected the central area, the mosquito queen sleeping in the largest pitcher plant. Suddenly, Lear's pupils shrank sharply, and his eyes stared at the center of the battlefield. The mosquito queen has awakened Akania and started hunting. The compound eyes of the swamp queen bee beside him became extremely cold. Buzz buzz buzz, the wings flapped, piercing the void directly like an arrow. The few flesh and blood giant mosquitoes in front only saw a residual shadow flashing. Then they lost consciousness instantly. Lear could clearly see that wherever Akania passed, the wings were like unfolded blades. Directly chopped all the flesh and blood giant mosquitoes into dregs. Pulling a bloody road in the air. Although the transformation is not yet complete, the level 10 queen bee who can command 200,000 swamp wasps is definitely not something that ordinary life can compare to. Buzz buzz buzz, sensing the queen's awakening, the flesh and blood giant mosquito flapped its wings more frequently, making a dull sound, like thunder rolling in the sky. At the same time, the flesh and blood giant mosquito in the center of the battlefield suddenly separated to the left and right, making a path. A terrifying giant mosquito with a wingspan of more than two meters appeared on the battlefield. Its body was covered with black and white stripes, and its wings flapped densely, making a violent whistling sound when hitting the air. The surrounding air waves were rolling, and the flesh and blood giant mosquitoes next to it could not get close. The six slender long legs bent at the abdomen, and the compound eyes reflected a cold light. The mouthparts used to suck blood were as thick as a steel pipe, and the front was as if a section was cut off diagonally by a knife, and it was extremely sharp. The sturdy flesh and blood giant mosquito looked extremely small next to it. Like a fighter flying next to an aircraft carrier. Mosquito Queen. Hero Unit. Level, Level 13. Potential, 4 stars. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Question mark, question mark, question mark. 4 stars potential, Level 13 Hero Unit. The opponent's simple attributes made Lear's breathing heavy. This is definitely a strong enemy. His eyes suddenly looked at Akania. The Swamp Queen Bee became the key to this battle. She must lure the opponent into an ambush. Without the cooperation of the three-star alchemical poison, Black Dragon Bloodworm Powder, this Mosquito Queen cannot be hunted. At this moment, the Mosquito Queen also discovered the Swamp Queen Bee who was still killing crazily. She exuded a creepy pressure. Phew, the wings flapped, like a bolt of lightning, and rushed to Arcania's side instantly. The one-meter-long mouthpart, which was as sharp as a knight's spear, was flying at high speed. Even if it hit the city wall, it could create an exaggerated scratch. The Swamp Queen felt like she was enveloped in death, and she fluttered her wings and retreated to the side. Phew, the mouthparts as sharp as a lance cut through the void, making a whistling sound that pierced the eardrums. But the Mosquito Queen also has super flying abilities. With a flutter of wings, he turned around and chased after the Queen Bee. 
a level 3 higher than that already has an overwhelming advantage. The Swamp Queen tried to fight back several times, but the Mosquito Queen easily defused it. The difference between the two is very obvious. In the end it turned into a complete hunt. Another mistake was made to avoid the Mosquito Queen's attack. The Swamp Queen was emitting surging blue magic energy. It instantly enveloped all directions. The auras of the surrounding Swamp Wasps and the Queen Bee surged at the same time. Under the mad rush, the Mire Queen Bee began to fight back. The tail thorn is like a dagger, thrust out crazily with speed. Some trees were interspersed in the center of the battle between the two, and a few flickers would leave deep scratches. As long as the mire wasps and giant flesh mosquitoes get close to both sides, they will be torn apart instantly. The speed of the two is too fast, and the battlefield is chaotic, so outsiders can no longer see the traces of their battle. After several collisions, large and small scars appeared on the body of the mire queen bee. There was even an obvious scratch on the head. At the same time, the center of the battle between the two sides gradually shifted to the location of the trap. Finally, after another collision, the Mosquito Queen fell into the trap. But as soon as the Mire Queen flew out, the Mosquito Queen followed closely. Bubblemon had no time to react and had already lost its target. Hero-level flying insects are much faster than life on the surface. It is sometimes difficult to swat a fly at home, and the extraordinary powers of life in these fantasy worlds are even more exaggerated. The Queen Bee quickly noticed this, and the level gap became more and more obvious. After several collisions, she began to be unable to bear it. In the last collision, Lear saw the Queen Bee pounce on the Mosquito Queen, and then hugged her tightly. As the wings of both sides flapped and entangled with each other, they suddenly fell to the ground. The Mosquito Queen wanted to take off again, but was caught tightly and both entered the trap. Lear's pupils shrank, and he gave the order decisively without hesitating for even half a second. Detonate. The tense bubble beast below trembled and instantly controlled the bubbles. The Mosquito Queen suddenly felt a very strong sense of danger. In his compound eyes, he saw that the soil on the surface suddenly expanded and then exploded. The thick smoke followed the strong air current and swallowed up everything around it. Her body was unnaturally blown away by the air waves, and the wasp that was holding her forcibly was also thrown away. A pungent breath rushed into his body. She only felt dizzy. But I just wanted to flap my wings and fly away. Aha, aha, a faint singing voice sounded in my ears. Suddenly, she saw a sea full of blood. The blood exudes a sweet and delicious alluring fragrance. As long as she can swallow it, she will achieve the final transformation. I couldn't help but take a few deep breaths. But suddenly a strong pungent smell came, cough cough. A violent cough came out of his mouth unnaturally. The long blood-sucking mouthparts spouting out puffs of thick smoke and the sight of the sea of blood disappeared without a trace. The Mosquito Queen was horrified. Just as I regained consciousness, I felt a strong sense of restlessness in my body. The compound eyes turn blood red and want to attack everything around them and destroy everything they can see around them. He became furious and rushed forward crazily, turning his head and waving his mouthparts like a spear. The giant flesh and blood mosquitoes and mire wasps that were swaying and flying in front were instantly cut off by it. Blood exploded. The strong smell of blood caused the mosquito queen's expression to change suddenly. I woke up with a start, my body's magic power was running wildly, poof. Several large mouthfuls of blood spit out from the mouth. The aura of the body has weakened visibly to the naked eye, but it is also free of the poisonous mist. But I just wanted to flap my wings and fly. Suddenly, I saw that the soil not far away from me was cracking again. The Mosquito Queen's liver and gallbladder are split. Bang! Thick smoke and air currents swept in. Covered in smoke for the second time. Suddenly, I saw the sweet sea of blood again. I woke up with a start and was about to take action. Bang! The third stream of air came from the thick smoke. The sea of blood emerged, and before I woke up, bang, I heard another tragic explosion. After taking a few wild breaths, the Mosquito Queen finally lost her will. The restlessness in his body could no longer be suppressed, and he began to attack everything around him crazily. Here are all enemies, all enemies. In the end, he only vaguely felt that the strength of his body suddenly disappeared, and then his blood vessels seemed to expand, and blood started to leak out, and his consciousness gradually became blurred. But at the moment when he was about to die, 
he suddenly felt a warm power pouring into his body. The breath of life stabilized again. Ying Ying Cho Cho heard a voice with exclamation. The mosquitoes are too fierce. This forest has almost been raised to the ground. Fortunately, we have refined a three-star alchemy potion, otherwise we would have been in trouble this time. Ait, cut off all its wings and legs. The body is bound with something. We must not let it take off again. Tall trees were broken in the middle, and the slanting treetops were inserted horizontally into the soil. The bodies of the bloody giant mosquitoes and the muddy wasps were scattered everywhere. Large pieces of pitcher plants were torn into pieces, and the air was filled with the smell of blood, soil, and moss. Lear looked at the messy scene in front of him, his eyes slightly fixed. He didn't expect that the mosquito queen who inhaled the black-spotted bloodworm powder would burst out with such exaggerated destructive power. Like a sharp sword, it crushed everything around it into mud while flying at high speed. It raged for 20 minutes before stopping. Fortunately, the bubble beast took away the muddy queen bee with bubbles at the first time. Otherwise, the muddy queen bee, who used herself as bait to force the mosquito queen into the trap, would be torn to pieces at the first time. The level 13 hero was too cruel. This was still the result of taking advantage of information and making sufficient preparations in advance. Otherwise, if they use force, they may not win even if they sacrifice all the swamp wasps. When the Mosquito Queen was rampant, the flesh and blood giant mosquitoes, which were seriously injured, scattered without command. They ran away directly. The relationship between the flesh and blood giant mosquito and the Mosquito Queen is far less close than that between the swamp wasps and the queen bee. The two-headed ogre chieftain, a fierce hero who is nearly three meters tall, has broken and torn all the wings and hairy limbs of the Mosquito Queen. At this moment, the Mosquito Queen's body is constantly oozing blood and collapsed on the ground, exhaling more than inhaling. Lear used healing magic to stabilize the opponent's life breath. Until this moment, he still couldn't see the specific attributes of the Mosquito Queen. Calming down his mood, the remaining power of the gods tried to dissipate, but he felt a wave of palpitations as soon as he came into contact with the Mosquito Queen. A strong sense of crisis rose in his heart. His soul could no longer withstand such high-intensity slavery. He took a long breath and retracted his mental power. Turned his head to look at the bubble beast beside him. Bobo, imprison the Mosquito Queen and transport her back. For now, we can only imprison her and talk about it later. He said and took another look at the messy surroundings. All the corpses on the battlefield should be packed and taken away. The fight between the swamp wasp and the flesh and blood giant mosquito resulted in a large number of casualties, and these corpses are nutrients. Wait for the bubble beasts to take action. Lear entered the habitat of the flesh and blood giant mosquito with some curiosity. A lot of the two-meter-high pitcher plants around were destroyed in the battle. At this moment, it was empty and there was no host. He turned his head and looked around, and slowly came to the front of the giant pitcher plant where the mosquito queen lived. The height of nearly four meters is quite exaggerated. After getting closer, you can feel the oppression brought by the size of the body. Waving his hand, he asked the two-headed ogre chieftain beside him to lie on the tree next to him to see what was hidden inside. This level 11 hero climbed the tree in three or two steps, looked up, and his eyes were a little strange. Master, there is only some nectar in it. Nectar. Get some out and have a look. The two-headed ogre chieftain found a clean stick, leaned forward and picked some out from the pitcher plants. He turned over and came to Lear. Lear immediately smelled a sweet smell similar to honey, which made people hungry. He looked at it carefully, and its properties quietly emerged in his mind. Nepenthe Nectar, level 1 star, features excellent taste, rich in sugar, can be drunk directly. Evaluation Nectar secreted by mutant pitcher plants, used to attract insects to enter and kill. Lear's eyes lit up. These pitcher plants can actually secrete such good things. He immediately became interested. Let the two-headed ogre chieftain try it first. It was also unambiguous, picked up the stick covered with nectar, put it to his mouth, and tasted it gently. His amber eyes widened instantly, and his face was full of disbelief. Master, the taste of this nectar is also great. It's not as sweet as honey, but it has a strong floral fragrance. It's perfect after you take a sip. He said and took another sip. He kept praising. Learn also got interested. He found a wooden stick and probed inside again, picking some out. 
Looking at it carefully in front of his eyes, the nectar was like flowing yellow amber, with a lot of tiny bubbles in it, and no impurities were seen. You can smell the floral fragrance when you get close. Tasting it gently, the taste seemed to be brewed with hundreds of kinds of nectar, and it was delicious. Learn's eyes lit up. What a good thing. There is no sugar-making crop like sugarcane in this world. The main source is honey. For ordinary people, sugar is a luxury. In Loran City, only nobles can enjoy it frequently. If the pitcher plant can be moved back to the territory for planting, wouldn't it be a constant source of sugar? He became excited and looked at the pitcher plant itself. Mutated Nepenthes. Magic plant. Level 1 star. Features it can grow quickly with sufficient water and can secrete unique nectar. Evaluation A plant that has mutated after being eroded by magic. One star magic plant. Lear laughed out loud, this time he found a treasure. He turned around and looked at the two meter tall Nepenthes beside him, but there was no such effect. The attribute panel only showed Nepenthes. So, these two meter tall plants are normal. Nearly four meters tall is considered a mutation. Lear's mouth twitched. The fantasy world really can't be inferred by common sense. Still unwilling to give up, he asked the two-headed ogre chief to find a few ordinary pitcher plants. The nectar secreted by these pitcher plants has a rotten and fishy smell, with only a faint sweetness. It is completely incomparable with the mutant pitcher plants. Seeing this, he could only focus on the mutant pitcher plants again. But the problem is that the vines of this plant are dozens of meters around, the height of the pitcher plant is nearly 4 meters, and it is extremely difficult to transplant it back to the territory after taking root in the ground. While thinking, he began to check around the pitcher plant. After a while, he suddenly saw something and hurriedly bent down to pull a few times in the soil on the ground. At the root of the pitcher plant, a mini seedling that had just emerged appeared in sight. The mutant pitcher plant is obviously a plant that directly splits into seedlings, not a fruit seed hatching. Lear was overjoyed and waved his hand to let the two-headed ogre chieftain dig up the soil with him to search. After ten minutes or so, the soil around was searched. A total of thirty seedlings were found. Lear's face was full of smiles. This is a genuine magic plant, and the nectar secreted is so delicious. If it can be planted in the territory, then the city of Weilu will undoubtedly have another specialty. This unexpected harvest made him feel very comfortable. After searching the area again and failing to find more things, Lear stopped. He asked someone to put all the nectar in the pitcher plant back, but because the mosquito queen ate it, only 20 kilograms of nectar were obtained. At this moment, the bubble beast just collected the corpse. He did not stay any longer and returned to the territory with the army. The muddy wasps were still flying overhead to protect. Seeing that the bee colony was much smaller than before, Lear's joy faded a little. This time, the attack on the Mosquito Queen cost all the three-star alchemy potion, black-spotted bloodworm powder, which consumed all the materials accumulated during this period. In addition, more than 30,000 of the 90,000 swamp wasps were killed in the battle just now, sacrificing one-third of them. The Swamp Queen was seriously injured and dying. He cast the Swamp Gift dozens of times in a row to barely stabilize the opponent's life. But at this moment, he was still in a coma, and the swamp gift was no longer effective. Lear could feel that this battle had put the opponent into a deeper sleep. Or it would take a long time to wake up. The only benefit was that after the queen bee fell asleep, his control over the swamp wasps went up a few levels. He could directly use mental power to control these brutal killing machines. All in all, the losses in this battle were still within an acceptable range. The main target, the Mosquito Queen has been captured. This is the key to the survival of the Swamp Wasps. There is no need to worry about their lifespan in the future. The set goal was achieved, the loss was not more than expected, and a mutant pitcher plant that can produce nectar was obtained. All in all, it was a small profit. The army returned to its territory before it became completely dark. Bane, who had been waiting for a long time, immediately came up to him, with Danya, a little alchemist, by his side. Good night, my lord. Is that the Mosquito Queen? In the huge bubble, the Mosquito Queen with a wingspan of two meters had her wings and legs broken off from the roots, leaving only her body covered with black and white spots, like a flesh insect. The ferocious mouthparts speak of the ferocity of this life. 
Lear nodded. Yes, the Mosquito Queen's level is as high as level 13, and she is extremely ferocious. Fortunately, the alchemy potion made by Danya helped us a lot this time, otherwise the loss would have been more serious. The little girl who was praised suddenly blushed, feeling a little proud and shy. Lord, this is what I should do. Lear smiled. When the city hall is completed, I will build a special alchemy research room for you, so you can study it boldly in the future. The little girl was immediately elated and her joy was beyond words. After praising him, Lear took out the mutated pitcher plant seedlings. This is Nepenthes mutator, and they need a lot of water to grow. When mature, it reaches a height of nearly 4 meters and produces extremely delicious nectar. You ask someone to go down and try planting. Bane looked at the palm-sized pitcher plant seedlings with some surprise. This thing will be 4 meters tall when it grows up, and it can also produce nectar. After speaking, Lear asked the two-headed ogre chief behind him to take out some of the nectar he had just packed back. Passed it to Bane. After taking a brief sip, Bane's eyes suddenly lit up. Sir, these nectars are truly delicious. When they want to eat gum, they usually look for beehives, but how can there be so many beehives? It's good to have it once every three or two years. If it could really be grown, wouldn't it be possible to eat it often? I couldn't wait to take all the seedlings and hold them like babies, for fear of damaging them. Lear couldn't help but smile. He also asked the two-headed ogre chief to take out some and gave them to Danya, who was watching eagerly. The broad and thick leaves are shaped like a funnel and can hold about a pound of nectar. Very suitable for giving to subordinates. The girl took it and immediately showed a shy and happy smile. Lear was also in a good mood. After Bane left, he looked up at the sky. At this moment, bees are still flying overhead. With a thought, the swamp wasps dispersed and returned to the hive to rest. He brought a full load of bubble beasts, mosquito queen, and bee queen to the front of the swamp tree man. At this moment, the flesh and blood slaughterer without a head and a stitched body lay in front of the tree man, transforming silently. There is no sign of waking up yet. Seeing this, Lear was a little helpless. The two-headed ogre chief broke through and became a heroic unit during the battle, but it has not yet completed its transformation and its specific attributes cannot be seen. The same goes for bog queens. This flesh and blood slaughterer is also undergoing transformation. There aren't many definite co-authors, right? With a wave of his hand, Bubble Beast dumped the gathered corpse next to the flesh slaughterer. No matter what, this terrifying existence that can transform into a divine life is the first priority. Let's talk about other things first. Nearly a hundred thousand carcasses of fleshy giant mosquitoes and mire wasps were dumped on the grass. It formed a small hill. In an instant, the flesh slayer sensed the arrival of food, and his body emitted a faint scarlet light. Quietly covered the mountain of corpses. Those corpses seemed to have been washed away by thousands of years, weathered rapidly, and turned into debris and debris on the ground in the blink of an eye. After devouring the majestic life force, you can clearly feel that the breath of the flesh and blood slaughterer has increased. But there was still no sign of waking up. Seeing this, Lear raised his eyebrows slightly, feeling a little unbelieving in his heart. Keep feeding, he still doesn't believe it, the other person can keep eating. After calming down, he waved his hand and asked Bubblemon to lift the Mosquito Queen out. He looked at the Swamp Tree Man standing quietly behind him. You use the roots to imprison the Mosquito Queen. You only need to maintain her life characteristics, but you must not allow her to regain her strength. The thick trunk of the Swamp Tree Man at the front twisted, revealing its ugly and ferocious face. He responded with a loud sound. Yes, master. Stab. The roots hidden in the earth pulled out directly from the ground, and then tied up the Mosquito Queen in circles. Lear saw clearly that after the roots wrapped around the Mosquito Queen, they penetrated directly into the body. Then, just like absorbing the nutrients of the land, it directly extracts the power from its body. This is much more ferocious than Bubbleman's bubble imprisonment. He was greatly satisfied. This way, we won't be afraid of the Mosquito Queen causing trouble again. Level 13 heroes have to be on guard. Moreover, the Swamp Tree Man cannot move and can keep an eye on it all the time. It would be perfect to use these lives to guard the dungeon and the prisoners. Being immobile also has the advantage of being immobile. But how does a Mosquito Queen produce blood semen? This is the purpose of this hunt. 
Turning to look at the two-headed ogre chief beside him, his tall body would feel visually oppressive standing next to him. Aight, do you know how the Mosquito Queen produces blood semen? The ogre hero was stunned and said hesitantly. Mosquitoes suck blood. They should secrete after being fed enough. He added another sentence. Just like the three-tailed pigs, they will reproduce only after being fed enough. Lear laughed. This statement could not be refuted. After thinking for a while, he said softly. Then go and drive two male three-tailed pigs here. Of the 23 tailed pigs currently in captivity, 16 are female and 4 are male. It is enough to keep two males for breeding. Now the females are pregnant and will give birth next month, so there is no need to worry about this problem. I'd immediately agreed and drove two pigs here in person. When the three tailed pigs approached, they felt the breath of the mosquito queen and were obviously agitated and afraid. I'd was too lazy to care so much. With his fist as big as a sandbag, he knocked out two or three pigs one by one. Then he dragged a 600 kilogram fat pig and threw it in front of the mosquito queen who was tied up by the tree roots. Smelling the strong breath of life, the mosquito queen was unconscious but her steel pipe-like mouthparts still moved. Seeing this, Lear tentatively asked the swamp tree man to insert the mosquito queen's mouthparts into the three-tailed pig. The unconscious mosquito queen immediately gurgled and began to suck the blood of the three-tailed pig crazily. Then a scene that surprised him appeared. The three-tailed pig not only sucked blood, but also flesh and bones crazily. In just five minutes, a giant pig weighing 600 kilograms was sucked alive into a piece of skin. At this moment, the mosquito queen's breath was still calm. Lear was surprised. The mosquito queen's body could actually swallow a big fat pig. At this moment, the mosquito queen's abdomen suddenly began to wriggle. Then, an oval scarlet object half the size of a fist, full of life energy, was produced from its abdomen. Plop, it fell directly to the ground. This immediately attracted his attention. Looking at it intently, detailed attributes emerged. Blood essence, level, two stars, features contains magnificent vitality. Evaluation, a unique treasure produced by the Mosquito Queen, with various wonderful uses. This is blood essence, two star treasure. At this time, the Mosquito Queen's abdomen was still wriggling continuously, and it produced a full 20 blood essences before stopping. Lee Er's expression became quite subtle. As long as the Mosquito Queen is fed, the other party can produce blood essence. In this case, there is no need to wake up the Mosquito Queen in the future. It's no problem to treat the other party as a living blood essence mine. The Mosquito Queen's combat power is very strong, but it is also good for production. It just so happens that he can't enslave the other party now. While thinking, Lear tried to feed the second pig to the Mosquito Queen. This pig was also sucked until only a piece of pig skin was left, and the other party produced 20 pieces of blood essence. After eating two 600 kilograms fat pigs, the other party's life breath also recovered a lot. But as soon as it recovered, the swamp tree man began to extract power and forcibly suppressed it. Let the Mosquito Queen remain in a coma. Lee Er's mood became a little subtle. No one expected that the Mosquito Queen would eventually become a humanoid mind that produces two star treasures. But this feeling is not bad. While thinking, he picked up a piece of blood essence and looked at the still unconscious Swamp Queen Bee. Try to send it to the other party's mouth. But there was no response. Shaking his head, looking up at the sky, with a thought, Several swamp wasps flying in the air immediately flew over, lying on the blood essence and began to lick it. After just a few licks, he could feel the other party's life breath filling up quickly, the blood essence contained the energy they needed most. The five swamp wasps only ate a tiny part, and they felt that the other party was full. Seeing this, Lear summoned hundreds of swamp wasps to gnaw, and they only ate one-tenth of the blood essence in his hand. In other words, this piece of blood essence can feed thousands of swamp wasps. His eyes became bright. Then, as long as the breeding farm is expanded on a large scale and the number of three-tailed pigs is increased, there will be no need to worry about the lifespan of the swamp wasps in the future. It can be regarded as completely stabilizing the power of the swamp wasps. Sure enough, farming and raising pigs is the right way to develop. Comfortable. After the matter was settled, Lear asked everyone around him to go down and rest. After thinking for a while, he called the Swamp Banshees. 
Looking at these banshees who were as soft and tender as human girls, with good figures and temperament, his eyes were deep. Although the level of the swamp banshees was only level 3, they had shown a good effect in several battles. And if the opponent wanted to increase his level, he needed to devour emotions. This was very interesting. Joy, anger, sorrow, fear, love, hatred, and desire were all food. Therefore, the swamp banshees often seduce intelligent life with songs, let their emotions fluctuate greatly, and then kill the enemy. Human fear is the easiest to arouse, and the emotions when dying are the most intense, and they are also the sweetest food. After becoming a member of the City of Dew, they obviously couldn't do this. No one could stand their residents being killed every now and then. Master, the three swamp banshees who were born not long ago looked at Lear with some curiosity, not knowing why they were called alone. Lear said slowly, which emotion do you devour to grow the fastest? Master, any emotion is fine. The more intense, the better. There are already hundreds of people in the city of Wispy Dew. If these people's emotions fluctuate violently, can they be your food? Of course they are enough. The swamp fairy said hesitantly. But generally speaking, fear is the easiest to create. Based on their observations over the past few days, the city of Wispy Dew is obviously not a normal city where nobles enslave residents and make everyone live in fear. On the contrary, people live very comfortably here and are very motivated to work. But if you don't create fear, how can you cause big emotional fluctuations? Joy, there are not so many happy things. Other emotions are not easy to arouse. Only fear can be easily obtained by scaring people. Lear nodded. That's it. Do you know Romeo and Juliet? The swamp fairies were a little puzzled and shook their heads together. Lear said meaningfully. That's it. This is a play, and to create emotions, you don't necessarily need to create fear. Happiness, anger, sorrow, and joy can be expressed through the play, making everyone's emotions fluctuate continuously for several hours. Even after the play, there can still be intense emotional fluctuations. At that time, the emotions you can swallow will be endless. And it is sustainable. Romeo and Juliet is Shakespeare's classic play, which has been passed down for hundreds of years without fading. Its background setting is somewhat similar to the culture of the main plane of Noel, and it can be used with a little adaptation. What else can provoke emotions more than a play that can make people cry and laugh? After doing this beginning well, there will be more that can be adapted and put on the stage for everyone to enjoy. In this world with poor spiritual activities, the cultures in Lear's mind can be easily crushed by just taking out some of them. Real version, culture invades the other world. More importantly, cultivate the swamp banshee first. When he is proficient in the future, it will be easy for him to promote some content. God needs to be preached. This is the story. Lear slowly narrated this long-standing love story. He had seen this play, and because of the actress's super high appearance, he had a deep memory of it. The story was told in a gentle and pleasant way. The swamp sirens were attracted, and when they heard the last part of the plot, when the messenger passed the news of Juliet's fake death to Romeo, he accidentally delayed and did not pass the news. As a result, Romeo mistakenly believed that Juliet was dead. In grief, he came to Juliet who was pretending to be dead, kissed his lover desperately, and drank poison and died. Juliet, who woke up from the fake death, found that her lover had died for her. She was heartbroken and used a long sword to kill herself and followed her lover. It led to a pair of true love, but because of various misunderstandings and family pressure and destruction, they finally died of love. After listening to this, several swamp sirens had red eyes and tears in their eyes. Master. This story is so heartbreaking. Is there really such a passionate person? Can we really interpret this story? So touching. Lear couldn't help but smile when he saw this. Sure enough, even a girl from another world couldn't stand this deep love. Slowly said, this is natural. The story outline is here, but it's just the foundation. You need to rehearse it. Casting, costumes, props, lines, lighting, stage effects, this is a systematic project. You can ask Bane to cooperate and rehearse the story perfectly. This is just the beginning. The most important thing for you is to find out what you need. There will be more dramas waiting for you to perform in the future. The Swamp Banshee has a trump card that can directly seduce people's souls and can cheat directly. Even if you don't prepare anything, 
you only need to seduce with singing to make the crowd's emotions fluctuate. Of course, the best is still to do both. The Swamp Banshee is born to do this. That is to say, there is no live broadcast in this world, otherwise the top brother on the list would press the recharge button to make smoke. After the Swamp Banshee left happily, Lear also returned to the tent and had a comfortable sleep. The next day, August 16th, when he woke up in the morning, Lear opened the intelligence system and took a look. The food of the dragon blood red fish, the fishtail grass, has been obtained, and the colorful moss for feeding the three-tailed pig has also been cultivated. After enslaving the mosquito queen, the blood essence necessary for the mud hornet to extend its life is no longer a problem. There are still two pieces of information left to be completed, the divinity controlled by the dark naga, and the passing of the wetland lizard man tomorrow. In addition, the smelly giant monster mentioned in the previous intelligence has also appeared yesterday. There is also the ancient ruins discovered by the half-fish man, which has not been explored in time. The information about the dark naga is the most valuable, but correspondingly, the opponent is also the most difficult. The passing of the wetland lizard man will have to wait until tomorrow. While thinking, his eyes quickly locked on the smelly giant monster and the half-fish man ruins. Today, we will capture this smelly giant monster gathering point first, and wait until the mud queen bee and the two-headed ogre chief have completed their transformation, and then deal with the dark naga. It's better to go to this high-level wild monster map when you are sure of your chances. After a simple wash, I just walked out of the tent and found that the swamp banshee was rehearsing not far away. The residents who had just woken up looked at me curiously. Apart from anything else, just the banshee with such a high appearance standing in front of me can give people a pleasing feeling. Lear looked at the somewhat stiff movements and smiled. He went up to personally guide them and taught them all the acting skills he learned from variety shows. The Swamp Banshee is really talented in acting. He didn't understand it very well, but she learned it as soon as she learned it. And she acted vividly without any trace of acting. He gave her a thumbs up. Banshee is Banshee, awesome. After a short relaxation, let them stop for the time being, and then began to gather the army for hunting. Ten teams of wetland lizardmen warriors, eight bubble beasts, three swamp banshees, plus two heroes, hags and the two-headed ogre chieftain. In addition, except for leaving 10,000 swamp wasps to continue building nests, the remaining 50,000 were all taken away. They set out directly to the north and headed straight for the stinking giant monster. There was no conversation along the way, and the journey of nearly two hours passed quietly. They arrived at the location of the stinking giant monster again. As soon as they approached this area, they smelled a very strong stench. It was like a dead fish fermenting in the dark for half a month, giving people a strong and pungent impact. Lear frowned. With a thought, he let the swamp wasps fly to the ground vegetation temporarily and wait. He took Bubble Beast and two heroes and quietly moved forward. After pushing aside the grass, the view suddenly became empty. In the void, a building was floating and sinking. It could be barely seen that it was a dilapidated building, but the specific shape could not be distinguished. The surrounding space was like a water curtain, rippling. The ruins building really appeared. Under the building, hundreds of tall and majestic monsters were passing through the space back and forth, entering the hazy ruins. They were over three and a half meters tall, with a single horn on their heads, and their mouths were open like petals, full of sharp teeth. They were covered in animal skins, with large areas of skin exposed and dense hair. They had no weapons in their hands, but they could intuitively feel the power brought by their huge bodies. But what made Lear frown was not the ferocity of these beasts, but the stench in the air that had soared several times at this moment. My eyes were a little uncomfortable, and I felt a bit like I was smoked by smoke. Ah, several bubble beasts around me vomited directly after smelling the smell. It was so disgusting. How could there be such a stinky guy in this world? Lear's magic power surged, and he isolated the breath of the outside world, and his face recovered a little. He looked at it intently, and the attributes of those terrifying monsters appeared in his mind. Smelly giant. Level, level 9. Potential, 2 stars. Racial talent, smelly body odor, with extremely foul body odor, life that smells it will fall into nausea, retching, and fatigue, and its combat effectiveness will be greatly reduced. Skills, Fist Bomb, 2 stars, Bad Breath Spray, 2 stars, Black Mud Skin, 2 stars. 
evaluation monsters with extremely unique smells, perhaps, no one is willing to fight them. Two star potential, level 9 life, and it's so disgusting. Lear frowned. Looking back, fortunately, the muddy wasps did not react to its stench. His eyes gradually became cold and unambiguous, turning his head to look at the little cute thing beside him. All bubble beasts use bubble bombs to attack and disrupt the formation of the stinky giants. Swamp Banshee, when the bubble bombs are ready, immediately use your singing to confuse the stinky giants and let them let down their guard. Then he moved his mind and covered all the muddy wasps. After the explosion, attack immediately. Don't leave any alive. The swamp wasps in the back immediately perked up and waited for the horn to sound. The bubble beast began to blow bubbles. Hululu. The bubbles quickly grew larger, reaching a diameter of 3 meters. With sufficient preparation, each bubble beast controlled five bubbles. At the same time, the swamp banshee opened her mouth slightly, and a melodious song came out. The next moment, 40 giant bubbles with a diameter of 3 meters were fired like cannonballs. They flew directly towards the smelly giant monster. Bang! The violent explosion caused a surging air wave, which directly blew away the gathered and stabbed stinking giant monsters. At this moment, insect swarm, attack, buzz buzz buzz. The swamp wasps that had risen again were like arrows, madly passing through the grass and stabbing straight down. The stinking giant monster was first dazed, and then the surroundings exploded. In the confusion, before he could figure out what happened, he saw the sky darken. Then the swarm of bees attacked. He immediately felt the severe pain brought by the bee venom. The defense of the swamp wasp is very low, and even ordinary people can be killed by one foot. But with a highly toxic, 10-centimeter long tail stinger, it is a weapon that no one dares to underestimate. Puff, puff. During the high-speed flight, the tail stinger on the curved abdomen directly cut through the skin of the stinking giant monster and pierced into the body. Some stingers opened long cuts on its skin. The highly toxic venom corroded the nerves crazily. At this moment, the stinking giant monster on the ground was directly swallowed by the swarm of bees. As if sensing something, the stinking giant monsters in the ruins also rushed out frantically. But in front of the scourge-like bee swarm, all this seemed to be a decoration. At the same time, the wetland lizard man warriors, led by Haggis and the two-headed ogre chieftain, also launched an attack. Holding steel knives and wearing heavy armor, the heroes acted as pioneers. The formation was already in chaos, and the companions were strangled by the swamp wasps, so the stinking giants could not organize a decent counterattack. The wetland lizard men had no advantage in height and were also behind in level. But with the singing of the swamp banshees and the offensive of the swamp wasps, these warriors who were not afraid of pain quickly made achievements. A wetland lizard man warrior rushed to the stinking giant monster, suddenly lowered his body, and chopped the steel knife directly on the opponent's knee. Puff, blood exploded, and the huge body staggered and fell to the ground. Just after struggling to get up, the two lizardman warriors behind him had already jumped up. The steel knife chopped down fiercely. Puff, a huge scar appeared on the neck, breaking in half. The blood vessels were torn, blood gushed out, and shot out more than 10 meters high. Buzz buzz buzz, the blood instantly stimulated the dense swamp wasps. The flying speed increased again. The three parties joined forces to strangle. The smelly giant monster on the field fell quickly. Under the power, this surprise attack and siege battle almost showed an overwhelming advantage. Chapter 91 When Lear first entered the swamp, he didn't dare to look at the level 9 stinking giant. This is a high-level wild monster that he couldn't afford to offend. But in just 10 days, he didn't need to spend too much time to launch an attack. He even just needed to watch the battle calmly from the back without any worries. The only thing to do is, perhaps, once a wetland lizardman warrior is injured, the swamp gift will flow into his body in time. Swamp wasps don't matter. These assassins with thin blood, once attacked by the opponent, there is almost no possibility of survival. The swarm tactics is to overwhelm the enemy with excessive numbers. Once dispatched, it will be a fight to the death. There is no need to consider casualties, just look at the results. Under the crazy attack, the stinking giants fell one by one. Soon half of them were killed. Seeing this, Lear also had a strong sense of accomplishment. It's like playing games before, 
when you can't beat some high-level bosses, so you practice a wave of levels in the low-level area and challenge them when you are stronger. Then you can easily chop off the high-level boss with joy. The power in your hands is accumulated bit by bit. Now is the time to check the results. Hum, hum. The singing of the Swamp Banshee is still loud, disturbing the stinking giants all the time. You will be in a trance if you are not careful. On the battlefield, a moment of slowness determines life and death. Killing madness. Under the powerful force, the stinking giants were quickly harvested. And they have no weapons, so if they want to kill the mud wasps, they can only rely on their hands and feet. To deal with lives like wetland lizardmen warriors, relying on powerful strength will not be bad. But to deal with a group of insects, using hands and feet seems pale and powerless. Buzz buzz buzz. The number of stinking giants is getting smaller and smaller, and in the end, only the sound of mud wasps flapping their wings is left on the field. The battle lasted from the beginning to the end, and it didn't even take more than 10 minutes. The two squadrons of smelly giant monsters had all fallen. Looking up, the half-hidden and half-visible ruins were still hidden in the void. The ground was covered with huge remains of bones, and blood dyed the soil, moss and grass red. The ferocious wasps were still circling in the sky. Several scenes were reflected on each other, and this scene was quite visually impactful. Gather all the corpses. After Lear gave the order, he looked at the building hidden in the void. With a thought, some of the swamp wasps above his head flew directly into it. It was like passing through a water curtain and disappeared without a trace. In a blink of an eye, they flew out again. Safe. Lear felt a little relieved and waved his hand to let the two teams of wetland lizardmen warriors around him enter first. The two teams entered and explored it, and it was still safe. After the second confirmation, Lear waved his hand and let the two-headed ogre chief and hags enter again. This time, he stepped into it after confirming that it was safe. A gentleman does not stand under a dangerous wall. If you want to live long, it is better to be cautious. Passing through the void like a water curtain, Lear felt a little obstruction on his body, and then he passed through directly. His vision suddenly changed. A unique ruins appeared in front of him. The sky was gray and the light was dim. Under his feet was a semicircular open space with a diameter of more than 300 meters, paved with blue stone slabs, with large patches of cracks on it. Behind him, it was pitch black and nothingness. The moment he looked over, he immediately felt an unspeakable sense of crisis. It seemed that as long as he stepped into it, he would be deprived of his life. A word suddenly emerged in his mind endless void. Outside the main plane, there is an endless void, with nothing in it, no magic, no air, only endless nothingness. Ordinary people who enter it will have their souls eroded by the void in a breath. Only gods can cross the endless void. This relic building is hidden in such a dangerous place. Lear took a deep breath and looked forward. In front of the wide square is a towering stone building that has collapsed for the most part. A large number of grey pillars support the house, which is more than 20 meters high. But at this moment, the roof has collapsed, and the pillars are tilted to all directions. On several intact pillars, there are carvings of the revival of all things and the scenery full of vitality. Carefully identify, it can be vaguely seen that this building seems to be used for sacrifice. After Lear looked at it for a while, the intelligence system suddenly flashed and refreshed the prompt. You entered the sacrificial hall of the Mother Earth Goddess hidden in the void, and obtained a piece of information in the center of the sacrificial hall, in the statue of the Mother Earth Goddess, there is a special treasure hidden the Horn of Plenty, which needs to be broken to obtain the statue of the Mother Earth Goddess. Note that when breaking the statue, you will be hid by the power of God. Seeing the sudden prompt, Lear's eyes lit up immediately. Mother Earth Goddess, Special Treasure, Horn of Plenty. Wow, here is actually a sacrifice to the Mother Earth. This is the main god with countless believers in the Nor Plain. Neutral and lawful camp, almost all life on the main plane has enough respect for the Mother Earth. This is the Mother of the Earth, the source of countless lives. It is also the god with the most temples and the most believers in the Nor Main Plain. I didn't expect this to be the other party's sacrificial hall and there are special treasures hidden here, but the problem is that you have to break the statue to get it. As long as it is an intelligent life, it is difficult to do such a thing, and it is also very bold to dare to break the statue of the Mother Goddess. 
This is still hanging high in the sky, the kingdom of God is located in the endless void, and it often descends the mighty existence of God. Who dares to blaspheme God? But after Lear took a deep breath, his eyes were full of excitement. Friends who often act as gods should know that everyone is a god, so there is no blasphemy. Waving his hand, he took the two heroes into the sacrificial hall that had collapsed for the most part. After entering, he immediately saw the statue of the mother goddess in the center. Her face was full of kindness, she wore a wreath woven from wheat ears and fruits on her head, and a cloak woven from various foods on her body, and her eyes were gentle. Just seeing the other party's statue, you can feel the feeling of being bathed in spring breeze. The surrounding area was cleaned very cleanly. Those smelly giant monsters obviously dared not show any disrespect to the statue of the Earth Mother. Calming down, he turned his head and looked at Haggis. Go and smash the statue. Haggis was stunned for a moment, but without any hesitation, he strode forward. He raised the steel knife in his hand and was about to chop it down. But the next second, a fierce pressure came. It was like a mountain thousands of feet high collapsing and countless stars smashing into the earth. That majesty was simply not something that mortals could resist. It directly shook the soul. Haggis spurted out a mouthful of blood, his breath weakened, and his eyes were full of fear and disbelief. At this moment, he seemed to be noticed by the majestic and supreme existence. Lear narrowed his eyes slightly. He strode forward and pressed his right hand on the statue. The swamp godhead in his body glowed with a light blue light, emitting endless pressure. It directly enveloped the statue. But at this moment, Lear suddenly felt that a vague and kind face appeared in his mind. Like the affinity of a 60 or 70 year old grandmother who has done good deeds all her life. God of the swamp, are you awake? No, that's not right. Are you the successor of the god of the swamp? The horn of plenty has been lost for countless years. I didn't expect you to find it. I used this treasure a long time ago. Although it is not high level, it is quite meaningful to me. The artifact I am using now, called the crown of plenty, is because of this treasure. I will help you unlock its seal. Young successor, I hope you can carry the power of the god of the swamp and let the swamp rise again. May the earth bless you. As the voice fell, the kind face disappeared quietly, and the power left on the statue was completely consumed. At the same time, the statue of the Mother Earth Goddess collapsed directly. Then countless rays of light flowed out of the statue. In the air, it condensed into a snow-white jade-like horn that was as long as an arm and curved. The Horn of Plenty. Lear held the treasure in his hand, and his eyes became quite subtle. He never expected that the Earth Mother Goddess would suddenly appear in front of him. He also didn't expect that she would give him the Horn of Plenty. There is a reason why this Mother Goddess is respected by everyone. Her character is just like the Earth, which can accommodate everything in the world. Everything on Earth and the source of life all come from the Earth Mother Goddess, and she doesn't seem to need anything to decorate. As long as the main plane is not destroyed and life lasts forever, whether it is good or bad, the Earth Mother Goddess will exist forever. This is the confidence of this Mother Goddess who has stood tall in several battles of the gods. He took a deep breath and looked at the Horn of Plenty in his hand that was unsealed by the Earth Mother Goddess. How powerful can a treasure used by this great god be? He looked at the attribute panel in his mind with expectation. Horn of Plenty. Level, Special. Features, 1. Plenty, bless the area with good weather and good harvests, shorten the growth cycle of crops by 30%, and increase the yield by 30%. 2. Livestock is prosperous. You can bind five kinds of livestock and poultry, shorten their growth cycle by 50%, and increase their weight limit by 30%. 3. No disasters or diseases. The lives in the shelter are no longer attacked by diseases, and it is no longer difficult to produce cubs. Evaluation This treasure used by the Mother Earth Goddess has endless uses. After reading the properties of the Horn of Plenty, Lear suddenly felt dry in his mouth and his breathing quickened. This treasure is amazing. This artifact is just like this, right? No, this is more powerful than an artifact. Increase food production, shorten planting cycle, reduce livestock growth cycle, increase weight limit, plus immunity to diseases, safe birth of cubs. The three attributes of the Horn of Plenty, any one of them is considered top-notch. Add the three together. What is the artifact? This is the artifact. Blood profit, blood profit. Lear's breathing was trembling. 
This treasure is used to develop the territory, it is absolutely amazing. Mother Goddess of the Earth, you are the eternal god. Suddenly, he couldn't wait to return to the territory. Now, he just wanted to reclaim the farmland immediately, plant wheat, and then bind the three-tailed pigs and dragon blood red fish to make them grow. The appearance of this treasure has suddenly increased the foundation of the city of Weirdo. And the stronger the territory, the greater the role of this treasure, it is simply unlimited potential. After calming down, let the two-headed ogre chieftain, who is in a better state, continue searching with the wetland lizard warriors. But unfortunately, no more discoveries were made. The stinking giant monster seemed to simply regard this place as its base. However, this time, with the horn of plenty in hand, it has already made a lot of money, so what else does it need? After confirming that there was no gain, Lear came to the broken statue, put his right hand on his chest and bowed. Then he left the ruins. Passing through the water curtain-like space and coming outside, the bubble beast just collected all the corpses. The fragments of limbs scattered around were swallowed up by the mud wasp, and the blood on the ground was also licked by it, making the field look much cleaner. The daily food of these ferocious insects as various lives in the swamp. The swamp is rich in life, not only ferocious wild monsters, but also a large number of insects. They can also maintain a large population by hunting. However, because of this, the number of their population will always be limited. Food is a problem that is always difficult to avoid. Once there are too many members, filling the stomach every day will become a heavy burden. This may be the biggest difference between hunting and farming. Gather the army and return directly to the territory. There was no conversation along the way. Li Er returned to the city of Weilu in excitement, and the moment he stepped onto the territory, he felt something in his heart, and immediately clenched the horn of plenty in his hand, and immersed himself in it. The next moment, a special feeling came to his mind. In the future, as long as the horn of plenty is placed in the territory, with Weilu City as the center, a radius of 50 kilometers, residents can be protected by the Horn of Plenty for development, occupation, farming, and breeding. Once you leave the territory, you will lose the bonus. A radius of 50 kilometers, which almost covers the entire silt swamp. Lear -er laughed. He waved his hand to let Bubble Beast transport the corpse to the swamp treatment area, and he couldn't wait to come to the pig farm three kilometers away in the southeast direction. Looking at the three-tailed pigs humming in the pen and eating wild grass sweetly, his heart was full of expectations. With a thought, the mind mobilized the horn of plenty. The next moment, the breath of the three-tailed pigs was imprinted in the horn of plenty. Then a new attribute appeared on the panel. Prosperous animal husbandry, combined five kinds of livestock and poultry, shortened their growth cycle by 50%, and increased their weight limit by 30%. Already bound, three-tailed pig. Done. It only takes three months for the three-tailed pig to grow to 600 kg. If the growth cycle is shortened by 50%, it will only take one and a half months to grow to 600 kg. 45 days, 600 kg, an average of 13.3 kg per day. Lear smacked his lips, feeling a little outrageous. Can you eat more than 10 kg of meat a day? Moreover, with the horn of plenty, the three-tailed pig can be immune to the invasion of diseases, and there will be no problem of dystocia when giving birth to cubs. You can eat and give birth freely. This is too cool, right? The pig farming business is about to take off. Ha ha ha. The swamp people and Delsa people who were responsible for taking care of the three-tailed pigs on the side watched their master laugh at the pigs at the door of the pig pen. Suddenly, everyone was curious. What did the Lord see? He could laugh so happily in front of the pigs. After he left, several people curiously stood where he stood and tried to laugh. Lear, who had not walked far, heard the movement behind him and turned his head to look, and his face was suddenly black. These top-notch creatures, do you think I am happy to look at the pigs? Several swamp people felt something was wrong, turned their heads, and were immediately frightened to the point of shaking legs and cold backs, and ran to work. Lear, who was in a good mood, twitched his mouth, and was too lazy to pay attention to these guys. After returning to the territory, he immediately came to the fish farm in the north. Standing on the shore, these colorful, long-bearded two-star magical creatures were happily eating fishtail grass. This was in stark contrast to the way he refused to speak even in the past few days. 
even if the strategic value of the dragon blood red fish is not as great as that of the three-tailed pig, it is definitely a treasure. As long as it can be developed, no one can ignore it in the future. But the question is, is fish considered livestock or poultry? With a thought, he tried to engrave the breath of the dragon blood red fish into the horn of plenty. After a while, the dragon blood red fish quietly appeared in the binding list of the horn of plenty. Lear was overjoyed. It worked again. It is indeed a treasure used by the mother goddess of the earth. What a treasure, what a treasure. Looking at the dragon blood red fish swimming in the water, he was full of joy. The problem of the other party opening their mouths to eat has been solved, and the next step is to study how to breed dragon blood red fish. The reproduction of fish is not like livestock such as three-tailed pigs, which lay thousands or even tens of thousands of eggs at a time. In the wild, the growth of fry will be threatened by various natural enemies, and there are very few fry that can grow up, so a large number is needed to improve the survival rate. But it is different when raising them at home, and you can do enough homework to ensure the survival rate. As long as the dragon blood red fish can lay eggs and reproduce, its number will increase explosively. And the characteristic of shortening the growth cycle by 50% can make the dragon blood red fish grow faster. After calming down, Lear only felt that the sun was shining and the world became bright. At present, two kinds have been bound, and three kinds of livestock can be found for breeding. Ha ha ha. Just thinking about it makes me happy. After this busy time, it was already afternoon, and Lear did not go out hunting again. Step to the swamp tree man. At this time, more than 200 corpses of smelly giant monsters were piled up by bubble beasts on the green grass. They formed a small hill. The internal organs, bones, flesh and blood, plus the pungent stench, formed a purgatory scene. But Lear's eyes were always calm. The high-intensity battles during this period have already made him grow up. The bloody corpses can no longer have any impact on him. He has grown into a qualified pioneer lord who survives and develops in the wilderness. Steel knives and blood are the eternal theme of this land. He took a deep breath and turned his head to look at the mosquito queen who was tightly tied by the tree roots. Feed them ten corpses. The swamp tree man immediately responded. The tree roots were like the tentacles of an octopus, slowly wriggling, rolling up the corpse, and then inserting the mosquito queen's mouthparts into the corpse. Goo 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 goo. The mosquito queen instinctively began to suck, and didn't care whether there was blood or not. The broken corpse was eroded by the digestive juices contained in the mouthparts, gradually turning into blood and flesh, and was swallowed up. This time, not even the skin was left. The ten corpses were quickly swallowed up. The mosquito queen's life breath recovered a lot. But the next moment, the swamp tree man who used roots to penetrate her body sucked up the vitality. Firmly control its state. The corpse was swallowed, and the abdomen began to wriggle. Pieces of blood essence fell to the ground. Ten broken corpses of the stinking giant monster produced sixty pieces of blood essence. Obviously, the energy contained in the ninth level stinking giant monster is more considerable. Lear did not pick up the blood essence, but looked up at the sky. With a thought, dozens of muddy wasps flew down, grabbed the blood essence with their hairy feet, and took off steadily. These sixty pieces of blood essence are enough for all muddy wasps to replenish their original energy and restore their lifespan. After this matter was settled, he looked at the flesh slaughterer in the distance. This divine life that was still transforming was guarded by the swamp treeman day and night, but the other party still showed no signs of waking up. Divinity is the energy born in the body of the gods, which is countless levels higher than ordinary magic. Once awakened, it will have extremely terrifying power. Interestingly, the intelligence system prompted that the Dark Naga also had divinity in its hands, and after fusion, it could enhance the strength of the flesh slaughterer. But the intelligence value of four stars also destined those Dark Nagas to be extremely difficult to deal with. They can be explored in the early stage, but the real strategy can only be set after the flesh slaughterer wakes up. He was unwilling to consume a lot of manpower to take risks. This world is not a game, and there is no chance to start over. Accumulating strength, and waiting for enough confidence to flatten the previous powerful enemies, this is the right way to develop. While thinking, he was not vague and asked the swamp treeman to move the remaining corpses to the side of the flesh slaughterer. No matter what the situation, the divine life is the absolute priority. The next moment, 
the flash slaughterer emitted a faint blood-red light, and in the blink of an eye, it enveloped the corpse. Crack, the corpse quickly weathered and shattered. When the surrounding corpses turned into residues and all the flesh and blood energy was devoured, the flesh slaughterer's body suddenly trembled. A hazy and vague emotion was transmitted. Hungry, hungry. Lear was stunned at first, and then very surprised. After all the crazy feeding during this period, there was finally movement. Immediately conveyed a comforting emotion. But the other party's hazy thoughts continued to come. Hungry, food hungry, conveyed simple thoughts over and over again. After a moment, the thoughts were disconnected, and the flesh slaughterer returned to its previous state again. Lear's eyes were slightly condensed. The previous feeding was not in vain, but it was far from enough. More flesh and blood feeding is needed. Once this divine life wakes up, he will have an absolute trump card in his hand. After waiting for a moment, confirming that the flesh slaughterer was no longer moving, Lear also regained his calm. While thinking, he looked at the swamp tree man. He raised the bent treasure in his hand. This is the horn of plenty, a treasure given to me by the Mother Earth. You bury it underground and protect it with roots. No one can move it without my permission. The horn of plenty must be placed in the territory to take effect. In the future, I will definitely go to various places in the swamp, and even leave the swamp to explore the wilderness. This treasure cannot be carried with me all the time. Yes, master, the swamp tree man replied solemnly. They cannot move, so they are the perfect candidates for guarding. After arranging this matter, Lear thought of the mutant pitcher plant he obtained yesterday. Can the horn of plenty shorten the growth cycle of the mutant pitcher plant? Is this thing also considered a crop? He came to the south of the city of Microdu with great interest. There was a vacant land here, and the mutant pitcher plants had been planted. Each plant was 10 meters apart, and these 20 plants occupied a lot of land. At this moment, the pitcher plant was still a seedling, the size of a palm, with small leaves, and nothing special could be seen. The roots were buried in the wet mud, and water flowed from both sides. The roots of the pitcher plant extended out of the soil, swaying in the muddy water, drinking water like a water pipe, and a small string of bubbles emerged. He could clearly feel that with sufficient water supply, the roots of the pitcher plant were growing rapidly. Although it doesn't grow as fast as the colorful moss, it's still several times faster than ordinary plants. The characteristic of the pitcher plant is that it can grow quickly with sufficient water. Combined with the characteristics of the horn of plenty, it becomes quite extraordinary. At this rate, it may not take long to see the mutant pitcher plant grow and mature. Thinking of the sweet nectar, Lear's mood improved a bit. Collecting various plants and livestock to cultivate and raise, and developing the territory bit by bit, this feeling makes him a little addicted. The next day, when the sky was bright and he could barely see his fingers, Lear had already gotten up to call the army. At noon on August 17, a group of wandering wetland lizardmen will pass by 20 kilometers from the west. These wetland lizardmen have the forbidden secret recipe for cultivating the unique lizardmen's army, cold-blooded cavalry. Intelligence value 2 stars. Today's intelligence is time-sensitive. If you miss it, you may not be able to find the opponent's trace. A 20-kilometer journey is not short in the swamp. If you set out in advance, there will be enough preparation space. After the army gathered, they set out immediately, and the black swamp wasps were in the sky. The marching speed was very fast. In just two hours, they had walked more than 10 kilometers. The sky was bright, the sun was dim in the sky, and the clouds gradually brightened. Suddenly, a group of swamp wasps returned from the front, and their wings roared. An emotion surged into my mind, the enemy was found ahead. These flying creatures have gradually replaced the wetland lizardmen and become the main scouts. Lear's eyes condensed, and he immediately gathered the army and went to explore. After walking forward for hundreds of meters, his pace gradually slowed down. He carefully pushed aside the leaves in front of him, and a group of very strange creatures appeared in his sight. Tall and strong body, gray skin is very rough, circles of fat on the surface of the body drooped down, forming a pile like a swimming ring on the body. Small eyes, wide mouth like a square, short and thick limbs. Mud hippopotamus, level 6, potential 2 stars. At this moment, these 40 mud hippopotamus are gathering together, raising their short and thick hands in the mud and water, shouting something crazy. 
Everyone holds a piece of white bones in his hand. Crazy look. Woo, 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 woo. After a series of shouts, suddenly, the white bones in his hand emit a dark light. It was like a demon poking its head out of the abyss, and the air was filled with an evil breath that made people's backs cold. Enveloping everyone. The next moment, the evil suddenly poured into the body of the mud hippopotamus, and the breath on his body became crazy. His eyes suddenly became ferocious, and the breath emanating from his body became dark. A word suddenly emerged in Lear's mind, evil god sacrifice. The evil gods who live in the bottomless abyss and unknown dimensional planes, who control the power of evil paths, are always spying on the rich and abundant main plane. Even the big cities that are strictly controlled by the church will inevitably be infiltrated. The wilderness without the church's power is even more densely populated by evil god believers. In the wilderness where the law of the jungle is rampant, you must have enough power to survive. But unfortunately, most people are just hunted. The evil gods who are always spying on the main plane can directly give power to their believers, and respond to the believers' prayers in time, which can almost satisfy all the desires of the believers. Although the price is, corruption and depravity. But, if there is no hope of living, then isn't depravity a kind of rebirth? Lear could faintly feel the evil breath coming from the void, looking at each other from a distance. That was a look from an unknown place far away from the main plane. In a moment, the sacrifice of the silt hippopotamus was completed, and a new status bar appeared on their panel. Depravity progress. 20%. The evil gaze also disappeared at this moment. As long as the sacrifice continues, these hippopotamus will soon be completely depraved. He was a little curious, what would it be like to be completely depraved? However, if they dare to get involved with the evil god, it is impossible to let them survive. He raised his right hand and waved it slightly. Et, leave two alive, and the others, life or death. The two-headed ogre chieftain beside him suddenly clenched the thick mace in his hand and rushed forward with a grin. The silt hippopotamus was still immersed in the excitement of being watched by the evil god. Seeing the two-headed ogre chieftain suddenly rushing out of the woods, he was shocked at first, and then furious. Fool, dare to interrupt their worship of the true god. The first seven or eight rushed forward in anger, and when they saw the mace coming, they raised their hands and tried to grab it. The two-headed ogre chief felt humiliated when he saw this, and the muscles of his arms bulged high, and his strength burst out again. Bang! The mace hit the other party's grasping palm, and it was instantly smashed into pieces, and the flesh and blood were blurred. The power did not decrease, and it hit the other party's head, and the bones and flesh burst instantly, splashing all over the sky. Evil God Believer Even if he is the offspring of the evil god, he must die. The two-headed ogre chief, who is nearly three meters tall and has a level of eleven, is like a god of war. The four teams of mud hippopotamus are like children facing a rhinoceros rushing forward, and they can't stop it at all. The mace that made a whirring sound of breaking through the air, if it touched it, it would be dead, and if it touched it, it would be disabled. In the end, he smashed all the mud hippopotamus of the four teams alive by himself. Covered in blood and mud, he looked like a demon crawling out of the swamp. Lear watched the scene silently. Since he enslaved the other party, he had never properly understood the combat power of this ogre. Seeing that the situation was settled, he felt relieved. Unlike the wetland lizardmen who had both skills and strength, the two-headed ogre chief relied more on surging brute force to crush the enemy. But his height of nearly three meters also gave him the confidence. This is a fierce hero who is suitable for charging forward and tearing the enemy's formation. After making an accurate evaluation, Lear waved his hand and asked the wetland lizardmen to go up and clean up the battlefield and collect the remains. Soon, several silt hippopotamus who could still breathe were brought over. Plop, they were thrown directly into the mud and water, in a miserable state. Lear looked at these lives that were more than two meters tall and as fat as pigs, and was about to speak. The eyes of the silt hippopotamus suddenly became misty. My God is eternal. Those who blaspheme will be burned by my god and enslaved and trampled for generations. The moment the roar fell, the body trembled, and the breath of life suddenly dissipated like a candle that was blown out. No one survived. Lear swallowed the words in his mouth again, frowning slightly. Is this the believer of the evil god? He was secretly alert in his heart. If he met them again in the future, 
he would either destroy them with the power of thunder or use the Swamp Banshee to fascinate the soul. It must not be inferred by common sense. The army continued to search, but unfortunately, no valuable spoils were found. The bones held by the silt hippopotamus during the sacrifice were just ordinary bones. The final harvest was these sturdy hippopotamus bodies, plus vigilance against the evil god believers. All in all, it was a small profit. After the corpses were collected, the bubble beast immediately blew bubbles and put them in. These are all food to feed the flesh and blood butcher. Lear looked at the bubbles floating off the ground and smiled with satisfaction. These little guys are really useful. During the battle, they can provide long-range support, during the ambush, they can create traps, and after the battle, they can act as porters and bring a lot of spoils. Almost perfect. He is now looking forward to the scene after all the bubble beasts hatch in two months. Perhaps, if they continue to develop in the future, they can establish a heavy artillery support unit. Tisk 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 tisk, the scene of hundreds of bubble bombs bombarding every minute is exciting to think about. At that time, let Danya produce more black spotted bloodworm powder, and collect it while burning the poisonous fog and load it into the bubble bomb. Let the bubble have magic damage and poison damage. After a small battle, the army continued to move forward. Then they encountered two more gathering places of wild monsters, but they were all in the scale of 10 or 20 people, and the level was only 4 or 5. There was no challenge at all, and they pushed it directly, and harvested dozens of extra corpses. After rushing at a high speed, when the time came to 11 o'clock, Lear looked at the flashing point on the magic map and waved to stop the army. We're here, his eyes became sharp, haggis, disperse the wetland lizardmen and be on high alert in this area. Today, a group of wandering wetland lizardmen will pass by here. The city of Weirdo needs to absorb new warriors. In addition, they have the secret method of cold-blooded cavalry. The wetland lizardman hero's breathing suddenly became rapid, and his eyes flashed with excitement. The secret method of the cold-blooded cavalry. He knew that the Lord's words were never false. Praise the Lord, as you wish, great Lord. Lear smiled and asked the other party to go down to make arrangements. Looking at the sparse jungle, everything in the swamp was reflected in his eyes. He was used to the wetland lizardmen. These warriors who did not know pain and were brave and fearless were all advantages. The only disadvantage was that there were too few of them. The six teams that died in the last hunt for half fishmen still made him feel heartbroken. I just hope that there will be enough wetland lizardmen this time. Swamp wasps cannot replace warriors who fight head on. These assassins with high attack and thin blood are too prone to large scale losses. It is better to use them as strategic forces at the bottom of the box. After the wetland lizardmen dispersed, the swamp wasps also spread out to be on guard. The exploration efficiency of flying life is obviously more than one level higher than that of land life. However, it was somewhat unexpected that half an hour later, the first to send the news were the wetland lizardmen. They heard the sound of the foreign wetland lizardmen warning that the other party was coming in this direction. Lear took a deep breath, and his heart was in high spirits. He did not hesitate and immediately summoned the army to go. Twenty minutes later, they came to a muddy area with low grass and trees and only knee-high. The mud below was soft, and ordinary people could easily sink directly when they stepped on it. But the wetland lizardmen stood firmly on it with their open flippers. Looking around, there were at least three or four hundred wetland lizardmen. They had thick palm-sized scales on their bodies, thick tails, sharp claws, and a height of 1.7 meters. The lizard head on the neck was hideous and cruel, and the amber eyes exuded cold murderous intent. This was a group of ferocious beasts and crazy warriors. Blocking in front of them were two teams of heavily armored warriors from the city of Weil. In comparison, the warrior who had been upgraded to level 7 was much better than the other side. With the equipment on his body, he looked even more majestic. The two were like a contrast between civilization and barbarism. The two sides were facing each other not far away, and they were also talking quickly in lizardman language. After Lear arrived, the eyes of those foreign wetland lizardmen immediately became alert. The tone of the two people talking in front also became fierce. But before they could make any move, suddenly, I felt my vision dim. He looked up subconsciously. Countless, ferocious black and yellow wasps gathered in the sky, covering the entire sky. 
The buzzing sound of wings pierced the eardrums. I couldn't help but be surprised. But it wasn't over yet. Behind the human, wetland lizard warriors wearing heavy armor and holding steel knives appeared one after another. Seeing this scene, the wandering wetland lizard man was in a commotion again, his eyes wary, alert, worried and envious all at the same time. A bright, standard full set of metal armor. This is equipment they can only dream about. Now, everyone has these strange kin, and they also have steel knives. Dear God of the Lizardmen, were those steel knives forged by dwarves? Why does it look so sharp? I feel like my saliva is going to flow out. Why are my own people so luxurious, just because they took refuge in that human being? Looking at Lear again, his eyes immediately became subtle. If the other party is willing to use their own kind, is it possible to use them as well? In the conversation with the other party just now, I could hear the full sense of superiority. No, that's not right, they are lizard people, how can they take refuge with humans? But their own kind can do it, why can't they? Countless thoughts trembled in my mind. When the atmosphere became tense, a strong figure approached from the side. Dominate. Lear looked at Haggis and said slowly. Go and negotiate with the other party to see if you can let them join Wailu City. Courtesy first, then attack. If the opponent has a strong will to resist, then you can only cripple them first and then talk about other things. The wetland lizard man hero, who was nearly two meters tall, immediately strode forward. When he came to the confrontation area, he glanced around and scolded him mercilessly in lizard language. What surprised Lear was that the wandering swamp lizardmen didn't respond. Haggis's saliva sprayed all over their faces, but he still endured it. Just let him be scolded. This was not the attitude just now. Then Haggis, still not relieved, rushed directly into the opponent's formation and started shouting reprimands. Just like a grandpa teaching his grandson. The scene looked rather strange. Not long after, Haggis came over with a lizard leader who was shorter than him. Lord, I have taken over them, and they are all willing to join Wailu City. Ah, is this the end? Lear looked at the wetland lizard man leader behind him who looked aggrieved, and he was still a little uneasy. Are you a god or am I a god? Why does my little brother kowtow to you when he sees you? He had prepared so much and concentrated all his strength, preparing to defeat them and then enslave them. In the end, he was scolded by you and was honest. Seeing Lear's doubts, Haggis said softly, Lord, the superiors in our clan have direct jurisdiction over the inferiors. There are no heroes among them. He was also a little proud as he said that his power was also given by the Lord. So, just because the opponent has no heroes, you just take them over. Is it so sloppy? The corner of Lear's mouth twitched, he was used to looking at these lives from a human perspective, and he didn't change his mind for a while. Later, after Haggis explained it, I understood. The wetland lizard people have a unique and strict distribution of upper and lower classes. Those with strong strength automatically become the upper class, and those with weak strength are the lower class. Once you determine your identity class, you will immediately enter this system. The superior has absolute control over the inferior. This is a trait engraved in the souls of the wetland lizard folk. In this way, once a battle occurs, the strongest force can be gathered instantly, and there will be no situation where there is no one to command. This is a rule derived from survival. Lear was amazed when he heard this. This is unimaginable among humans. All troubles can be solved by status and strength alone. Those great nobles who were murdered by their subordinates and the kings who were killed by nobles would never appear at all. Looking at the dark heads in front of me, I felt very good. Where did you come from and how many of you are there now? The leader of the wetland lizardmen beside Hags whispered. We have been wandering in the wilderness, looking for habitat. There are now more than 400 people. Wandering without a place to stay is the daily life of many wilderness races. When Haggis heard this, his eyes softened. He also lived this kind of life before he took refuge in the Lord. But now, he has found his faith and pursuit. Do you have a secret method for cultivating cold-blooded cavalry? The leader of the wetland lizardmen was stunned and said hesitantly. The secret method of the cold-blooded cavalry. No, I don't know any secret method. The cold-blooded cavalry is the trump card among the lizardmen. How can he have such a thing? No, Lear frowned slightly. Just when he was about to speak, the other party suddenly patted his head. 
he took out a tattered and yellowed parchment roll from his arms. I got this from the tribe elder before, but I can't understand that this is what you are talking about. Lear looked attentively. The properties panel comes to mind. The forbidden secrets of the lizard men. Level, special. Characteristics after the lizard man soaks all the secrets with blood, he can automatically control the secrets, which other races cannot obtain. This secret method can cultivate a level 11 lizard man unit with a potential of three stars, cold blooded cavalry. Evaluation The secret of the lizard men. Li Er's mood instantly became extremely excited. Cold blooded cavalry, three star potential, level 11. Together with the more than 400 wandering wetland lizard men, he has a total of 500 to 600 in his hands. If all of them are transformed into cold blooded cavalry, it will definitely be a fierce force that no one can ignore. Ha ha ha, this is going to take off. After Lear calmed down his excitement, he looked at the wetland lizard man leader. Let everyone gather and go back to the territory with us. Haggis, you are responsible for leading the team. Yes, sir. Follow your orders, master. The wetland lizard man leader and Haggis immediately responded, and then took the wetland lizard man warriors in full armor to mix with the wanderers. At the same time, they informed everyone of the next purpose. Although these wandering wetland lizard men have not yet changed their minds about joining humans. But when they saw the tribesmen wearing heavy armor coming over, they immediately swallowed their saliva. The texture of this armor, the glossiness, and the firmness. There was envy in their eyes. If they joined the human territory and could get this kind of equipment, it would not be impossible. The wetland lizard man warriors looked at the eyes of these fellow tribesmen and raised their heads high. He smiled proudly in his heart. These little fools may not know that they not only have matching equipment, but also the most abundant food in the territory. Even after sacrifice, they can be buried in the tomb of heroes, and their names can be engraved in the hall of heroes for future generations to praise and admire. If they knew how they were treated, I'm afraid their eyes would pop out. Humph, they look like they have never seen the world. After the army was reorganized, Lear took stock and found that there were a total of 470 wandering wetland lizard men. Adding the current 140, the total number directly reached 610. It has increased several times. It feels good. These are all organized combat forces. In a good mood, Lear did not hesitate and ordered to return to the territory. Today ended perfectly, and everything I wanted most was obtained. Next, it was time to digest these spoils. There were no more accidents on the way back, and they arrived at the territory around 4 p.m. Several barbarians who were working saw the commotion outside and turned their heads curiously. Seeing the crowd of people, their breath suddenly condensed, and a complex color rose in their eyes. Wetland lizard men, Lord, you actually brought back so many wetland lizard men. Now, the strength of the city of Weilu will be greatly improved. Then he looked up at the swamp wasps covering the sky, his expression became more subtle. It has only been a short time. The first building of this territory has not been built yet, and its military strength has been improved so exaggeratedly. The leader of the barbarians, Azakan, took a deep breath. Before, Lear told him that in two months, the city of Weilu would become different and could trade with their territory. He still had doubts at the time, and most of his heart did not believe it. After witnessing the rapid growth of the city of Weilu with his own eyes, the doubts in his heart had long disappeared. Now he is worried about. If they continue to grow at this speed, in a few months, will they, the barbarians, still be qualified to trade with each other? This idea would never have appeared ten days ago. But after witnessing the terrifying speed of the city of Weilu, he had to worry. I was also somewhat relieved in my heart. Fortunately, the territory was not close to the swamp, and I really wanted to trade with the other party without establishing a hostile relationship. When Bane saw the crowd, he hurried forward to greet them. My lord, his tone was indescribably excited. At a glance, it was clear that the wetland lizard men mixed with their own warriors would be the new guardians of the city of Wei Lu. Before, I was still feeling sorry for the fallen warriors, but now they have been replenished several times. Bane, you immediately arrange for someone to go down and cook, and at the same time allocate temporary housing for the wetland lizard men. The armor of the fallen warriors before, repair it and take it out, and it will be used immediately. Yes, I'll go now. 
A few hundred more people means a few hundred more mouths. It has to be arranged properly. Bain's pressure in his heart immediately increased a little, and he had to speed up the reclamation of farmland. After the new wetland lizardmen entered the territory, they also looked around curiously. However, seeing that there was only a vine-woven building in the territory, he was still a little disappointed. Although the building was magnificent and covered an astonishingly large area, the surrounding area was still flat. You can tell at a glance that this is just a newly established territory. The wetland lizard man had walked to the side with several companions, and the disappointment revealed in the chat was heard by several barbarians who were working. They were immediately unhappy. Azakin strode forward and blocked the way of several people. He looked at the wetland lizard man leader with unfriendly eyes. Do you know how long the city of Weekdu was built? Several wetland lizard men were stunned, not understanding the purpose of this barbarian. Is there any problem with this? Azakin said in a deep voice. If I remember correctly, eleven days. Eleven days ago, the Lord established the city of Weekdu here. At that time, he only brought two squadrons of wetland lizardman warriors and hundreds of swamp people into the swamp. He pointed to the unfinished city hall in front. This building, which has reached a height of 15 meters, was built in the past 10 days. He pointed to the sky again. This swamp wasp that can easily kill you 10 times was also enslaved a few days ago. The 12 level 9 tree men there. The level 11 two-headed ogre chieftain, Lord At. The sleeping swamp queen bee. In this short period of time, the Lord has also raised two star magic life dragon blood red fish, one star magic life three-tailed pig, and cultivated thousands of acres of farmland. As he spoke, his tone became increasingly dissatisfied. The city of Dew is not something you can despise. Just wait, in less than a month, your hearts will tremble for the greatness of the Lord and the extraordinariness of this territory. Saying this, without waiting for the reactions of several wetland lizard men, he snorted coldly and strode away. Several people looked at each other. I was scolded for no apparent reason, and I still haven't figured out what the problem was. After the wetland lizard leader came back to his senses, his eyes were a little subtle. Is this territory really so extraordinary? To be so admired by your subordinates, you won't tolerate others saying otherwise. While thinking, he looked at the armored wetland lizard man leading the way and asked his inner doubts. He was more willing to trust his companions than those rude savages. The barbarians are not members of Wailu City, they are people from another tribe who came to open trade. The armored swamp lizard man replied softly. Then why does he maintain this territory so well? The leader of the wetland lizard men was a little confused. Because they are telling the truth, and they are even a little conservative. The wetland lizard warrior raised his head high. It is definitely a gift from God that we can join the city of Wailu and be appreciated by the Lord. Just wait. It won't be long before you will be willing to sacrifice everything for the Lord, and even sacrifice yourself for the Lord. Sacrifice yourself, yes, because that is glory. The eyes of the wetland lizard man warrior were somewhat longing. Which warrior doesn't want to be personally supported by the master, with the swamp banshees scattering flowers and singing, and buried in the land of heroic spirits under the watchful eyes of countless people? The leader of the wetland lizard men was completely silent. He found that he seemed to be completely unable to understand this territory. After Bane took the people down, Lear also took Haggis back to the tent, gesturing to the parchment he had just obtained. This sheepskin scroll hides the secret method of cultivating cold-blooded cavalry. You can get it after you soak it in blood. The wetland lizard hero's face suddenly showed excitement. The status of cold-blooded cavalry among lizardmen is like that of griffin knights among humans. This is their legendary unit and has irreplaceable importance. Taking a deep breath, he took the ancient parchment seriously. Without hesitation, the sharp claws directly cut through the palm. The blood dripped, directly dyeing the parchment red, and the spots were like plum blossoms. The blood was quickly absorbed and then spread out until the entire parchment was soaked in blood. At this moment, magic power surged around him, pouring into the parchment scroll. The parchment scroll is like a black hole, wildly devouring all magic power. A small magic tide formed around him. After devouring a large amount of magic power, the parchment exuded a unique aura. The blood soaked on it seemed to come alive, suddenly floating into the air, and gradually turning into twisted and weird inscriptions with a bit of lizard-like characteristics. 
as if they had received some guidance, they poured into Haggis's forehead one by one and disappeared. After all the inscriptions melted away, the surrounding magic also slowly dissipated, and the blood color of the parchment quietly faded, leaving only its original yellow appearance. Lear looked at the empty-eyed swamp lizard hero with burning eyes and said in a deep voice. How? Haggis woke up suddenly, with huge joy on his face. Sir, it really is the secret training method of cold-blooded cavalry. I got it. We can train now. A high-level unit with three-star potential and a level up to eleven. At this moment, it is within reach. Lear's smile instantly brightened and he asked in a solemn voice. What are the requirements for training? You need to capture small lizards living in the swamp, and then use secret techniques and flesh and blood to feed them into fast and violent lizards with a shoulder height of two meters. Haggis' tone became more and more high-pitched. Then the wetland lizard man will use his own blood as a guide to fuse his soul with the ferocious lizard. The two will merge into one, and eventually transform into a cold-blooded cavalry. Master, the life of the cold-blooded cavalry is shared. The lizard mount and the wetland lizard warrior are born as one body. Life and death are one body. He said with emotion. No wonder they are so powerful. I can't wait. The smile on Lear's face couldn't be suppressed at all. How could a level 11 three-star unit be weak? How do you catch those little lizards? Sir, you can use flesh and blood as a lure. It can be lured out with a little manipulation. It's very simple. The only difficulty is that when cultivating a velociraptor lizard, you need to feed a large amount of flesh and blood. Flesh, Lear thought of the three-tailed pig, and then of the horn of plenty in his hand. Laughed, as long as he waits for a while, what he may not lack most is flesh and blood. Sure enough, farming is the way to go. After Lear calmed down his excitement, he immediately said. Let's go and catch some small lizards and try to cultivate them first. Yes, Lord. Hags immediately responded and followed Lear out of the tent with great interest. First, take out a corpse from the hunting today, and then come to the muddy land in the east of the territory. This wetland lizard hero placed the corpse on the ground, and his eyes became serious. He stretched out his right hand, and the sharp claws of his left hand directly cut blood marks on the palm of his hand. The scarlet blood dripped directly down, but halfway down, it seemed to lose gravity and floated in the air. The surrounding magic power began to flow into it, and the blood twisted for a while, forming mysterious inscriptions. Those inscriptions slowly merged into the corpse below, and the flesh and blood on it instantly rotted. A unique fishy smell emanated and drifted down the wind. The smell gradually faded after escaping for more than twenty kilometers. Seeing this, Haggis retracted his hand, and the scar on his palm recovered quickly at a speed visible to the naked eye. He looked at Lear with burning eyes. Master, just wait a moment, and the small lizards living in the swamp will be attracted. Lear nodded and waited patiently with the other party. Ten minutes later, a small lizard that was as long as a palm, black and yellow, and had a row of barbs on its back came rustling from another patch of grass. When it saw the rotting corpse on the ground, it seemed to be confused and rushed over madly, climbed up and started to eat it. Seeing this, Lear immediately became interested. Is this the small lizard that can transform into a swift and fierce lizard? However, this size is too small. Looking at it intently, the other party's attribute panel appeared in his mind. Swamp lizard. Level, level 1. Potential, half star. Racial talent, sensitive sense of smell. Evaluation, common reptiles in swamps. This attribute is so ordinary that it can't be more ordinary. I won't even take a second look when I see it on the road. To train such a small guy into a mount that can be ridden. Interesting. What should I do next? Feed, feed a lot. Hags looked at the little lizards that drilled into the corpse to eat, with strong excitement in his eyes. The runes I engraved with blood have unique power. As long as they eat, they can activate the dormant ancient blood in their bodies. They will be extremely eager for blood and food. As long as there is enough food, they can grow quickly and eventually reach a shoulder height of three meters. These are the most proud arms of the lizardmen. Three meters. Lear was also a little amazed. But the problem now is that the three-tailed pig has not been raised yet, and the flesh and blood needed by the other party can only be obtained by hunting for the time being. The development time is too short, and many things have not been established yet, which is also unavoidable. When dusk came, hags used this corpse to lure hundreds of small swamp lizards. 
After the corpses were eaten to the point where there was little left, Lear immediately had people take these palm-sized lizards back to the territory and lock them up. When there is enough food, they can start to cultivate. Looking at the little lizards crawling in the bamboo cage, Lear looked at the hero beside him. Haggis, can you change your job to a cold-blooded cavalryman? Haggis said in a deep voice. Master, of course you can. Lear nodded. Then I will provide blood and flesh to cultivate a swift and fierce lizard for your job change. First confirm how much blood and flesh are needed to cultivate a cold-blooded cavalry alone before making plans. Haggis's eyes were excited. Thank you for your reward. Lear waved his hand, and without any nonsense, he asked people to bring twenty corpses. These are all for the little lizards to devour Haggis, you record the specific consumption required for cultivation. I need accurate data, yes. After Haggis agreed, he looked at the hundreds of little lizards. After scanning a few circles, he finally chose the most ferocious and sturdy one. Then he picked up the other one separately, cut his palm again, and let the blood drip. The little lizard sensed the smell of blood, opened his mouth and drank all the blood happily. After a while, Haggis picked up the little lizard and placed it on the corpses piled into a small hill. During the cultivation of the swift lizard, you need to feed the little lizard with your own blood once a day. It doesn't need to be much, but you must let the other party eat it. In this way, after the other party matures, there will be no barrier between the soul and it. This process, we call it bloody sacrifice. While he was explaining, the little lizard had already started to feast. The mouth bit the flesh and blood frantically, then raised its head and shook it a few times to adjust the position, and swallowed it directly into the stomach. Gulp, gulp, under Lear's gaze, in just half an hour, such a small thing actually ate one-fifth of the body of the swamp hippopotamus. The opponent is only as long as a palm. After swallowing a large amount of blood and flesh, the opponent's body length doubled directly, growing to two palms. The growth rate is exaggerated. But it will take some time to grow to the three-meter shoulder height mentioned by Haggis. Lear observed for a while and confirmed that its condition was stable, so he did not stay here for long. Let Haggis observe here. He turned and came to the swamp tree man area. There were many corpses piled up on the grass, all of which were obtained from hunting today. Lear was not vague and fed them all to the flesh and blood butcher. The sleeping divine life exuded a familiar scarlet light, and devoured all the corpses in the blink of an eye. Then it conveyed the emotions of hunger and desire for food. This bit of flesh and blood energy was far from meeting the other party's needs. Lear comforted it for a while before leaving. It is necessary to increase the intensity of hunting and wake the other party up as soon as possible. The sky gradually darkened, and at night, the newly joined wetland lizardmen enjoyed a sumptuous dinner. There were freshly killed fish, wild boars hunted before, and enough staple food. After the wetland lizardmen had a rare full meal, they looked at the lively territory and felt inexplicably touched. How long have they not been so relaxed? On the road of exile, they were always worried about the dangers around them, but when they came to the city of Weilu, it seemed that they were safe all of a sudden. Although this territory still seemed very simple. But its strength should not be underestimated. The swamp wasps flying overhead can easily destroy them. A dinner quietly gave these wandering wetland lizardmen a sense of belonging, and their faces looking at the people around them were no longer so stiff. Lear looked at the lively territory and was in a good mood. He called Bane, who had been busy all day. Lord Yin, what do you want? Lear gestured to the crowded crowd sitting together. Bane, the daily meals of the wetland lizardmen warriors will be separated from others from tomorrow. Our army should be managed separately. The total number of wetland lizardmen, Delsa people, and swamp people has exceeded the 1000 mark. It seems a bit chaotic to arrange them uniformly as before. The city of Weilu has reached a certain scale, and it must be gradually refined. And the warriors also need better food supply. Bane immediately agreed. But he hesitated. Sir, I have been feeling a little exhausted recently. Can you add more people to handle government affairs? With more people, the difficulty of management will increase exponentially. Bane now starts working from the moment he opens his eyes in the morning until everyone goes to bed. He needs to take care of everything, including food, clothing, and daily expenses. He is really too busy. After thinking for a moment, Lear's tone became serious. Bane, 
I now appoint you as the chief government officer of Weilu City, and you will be responsible for setting up the Ministry of Internal Affairs. You will select 30 government staff members to be responsible for daily government affairs. After selecting the personnel, I will personally appoint them. Report to me if you need to add more staff in the future. After pausing for a moment, Lear continued. At the same time, you will also set up the Ministry of Agriculture Management, which will be responsible for managing farmland, fish ponds, pig farms, and all other agricultural matters. You can choose the candidate for the Chief Agricultural Officer and report to me for confirmation. With the development of Weilu City, these relevant government departments must be established. In the future, agriculture, trade, internal affairs and other key matters need to be handed over to the corresponding departments for management. He only needs to be responsible for controlling the general direction. The current management system is not even rough, it is still a sketch. It can only be done bit by bit. The advantage is that he controls everything. Once any problem is encountered, he can make timely adjustments, and he is not afraid of making mistakes. But if these departments are established, the current population is still not enough. From the perspective of managers alone, the base of selection is too small, and it is difficult to find high-level talents. Still need to work hard. Bain, who received the order, left with excitement and excitement. He can feel that once the system is established, the city of Weilu will usher in a leapfrog development. There will be a territory with a complete administrative system here. Everything will be different. At night, the territory gradually quieted down. Lear, who was not used to going to bed early, was going to see the dragon blood red fish. On the way, he suddenly found that the swamp banshee was rehearsing near the vine fairy. With the light emitted by the vine fairy like a small light bulb, he watched with interest for a while. The more he watched, the more he was impressed by the talent of these banshees. Not only did they completely learn the half-baked acting skills he learned from watching variety shows, but they also learned from them. It had only been a short time since they started rehearsing, but they had already mastered the essence of acting. They laughed, scolded, and changed their faces faster than anything else. He watched with great interest from the side. How could ordinary people who had never seen the baptism of information withstand such a performance? However, there were problems. The emotional fluctuations were not enough. The performances of sadness and happiness were a bit strong. After watching for a while, he simply went on stage to guide them himself. The swamp banshees were also eager to learn. They took whatever Lear said and absorbed nutrients crazily. By the early hours of the morning, their acting skills had improved again, and in the end they almost achieved the best effect he wanted. Lear was amazed. These banshees were simply born actors. In addition to what he taught, the lines and so on were designed by the three of them themselves. But the design was perfect. Although it was different from the original version, the effect was very outstanding. This was Lear's last attempt to get them to add their own singing, without them using their own singing. Then, he was instantly fascinated. I felt lost until the end, and was still immersed in the plot of Romeo and Juliet dying together. After I recovered, I looked at the three swamp sirens with great excitement. Good, very good, you will be arranged to have your first performance tomorrow night. It is time for the people of this world to feel the shock of earth culture. More importantly, once the swamp sirens know how to perform drama and are trained, then the role will be even greater. In the future, they can perform not only love, but also praise heroes, declare the policies of the city of Dew, and even spread the belief in our God. The next day, August 18th, early morning. After Lear woke up, he simply washed and immediately summoned the army, and asked people to bring the Murloc captives who had been detained for a few days to him. At present, there are still several important areas near the city of Weirdo that have not been explored yet up pointing arrow 30 kilometers north, there are more than 500 level 9 rotten centaurs. The Demiplane where the two-headed ogre chief is located. The valley occupied by the Dark Naga and the ancient ruins discovered by the Murlocs. Today he plans to explore the ancient ruins discovered by the Murlocs first. If he has time, he will go to the Dark Naga again to try to find out the specific strength of the other party. The gathering place of rotten centaurs and the demiplane occupied by the two-headed ogres, one is not close, and the other is in another plane, so you can put it aside for now and attack it later. Take it step by step. 
He brought three squadrons of wetland lizardmen and summoned 50,000 muddy wasps. There is also the two-headed ogre chief with the team. The bubble beast and swamp banshee who had been following the battle for the past few days stayed in the territory for a while. Haggis also stayed in the territory to manage the newly joined wetland lizardmen. The family needed a strong hero to keep the place in check. Today's main task was exploration, so there was no need to bring all the troops. After the army gathered, they went directly to the south. The purpose was clear and the action was fast. Among the 300 wetland lizardmen warriors brought, 200 were new. This was their first time to fight with the army. After leaving the territory, they were a little unfamiliar and didn't know how to cooperate with him. Seeing this, Lear directly disbanded the old warriors of 10 teams and used the old to lead the new. Speed up the running in. The wetland lizardmen had a very sensitive sense of smell for battle. With the help of the veterans, they quickly ran in together and gradually developed a tacit understanding. Begin to get familiar with Lear's command style. After traveling more than 10 kilometers to the south, when there was still more than an hour away from the ancient ruins, Lear felt something strange. This area has not been explored, but no wild monsters were found along the way. There are even fewer mosquitoes. And in the mud, you can often see some messy footprints. But it is difficult to leave useful information in the mud, and it is impossible to identify what kind of life it is. I couldn't help but be alert and let the army strengthen its vigilance. After walking forward for another 10 minutes, the wetland lizard man who was exploring the way came over with a pale and swollen corpse. This is the corpse of a half fishman. You can still vaguely see the fear on his face, as if he saw something extremely terrible. The skin is bloodless and pale. Master, this is a corpse that was just found. The death time is no more than one day. The creatures around here have been cleaned up. Lear frowned. The half fishman's corpse did not have any major wounds, only two striking marks on the neck. It seems that the neck was pierced by the fangs of a wild beast. While thinking, the perception is fully open. After carefully sensing from beginning to end, his face changed slightly after a moment. There was a faint evil breath lingering in the other party's heart. Lear suddenly thought of the scene of the swamp hippopotamus worshipping the evil god he had seen before. That evil breath was very similar to it. Are there other lives in the swamp that also believe in the evil god? As his thoughts turned, his mind moved. Let the mud swamp wasps in the sky spread out and search around to see if there are any abnormalities. Numbers are king. Tens of thousands of mud swamp wasps blasted away, and soon several kilometers around were explored. In the end, there was really something found. After Lear received the news and arrived at that area, he immediately saw a horrifying scene. On a half-wet and half-dry lawn in front, more than 200 half-fish people knelt on the ground with their heads facing up. From the outside to the inside, they formed a circle. Their faces were also facing the center of the circle. The marks on the neck pierced by the beast's sharp teeth were particularly obvious, and there was no breath of life long ago. Moreover, the death state of all the merfolk was exactly the same. Lear's face became a little solemn. These merfolk were obviously drained of blood for sacrifice. The two-headed ogre chief also strode forward at this moment and said in a deep voice, My lord, these merfolk are only a shell left, and all the blood and flesh energy in their bodies have disappeared. Lear said slowly, have you found anything nearby? No, there are only corpses here. The two-headed ogre chief's tone was also very serious. He felt vaguely uneasy. It is often not a good thing to hook up with the evil god. Lear took a deep breath. It seems that the swamp is more complicated than he expected. Let's go and find the ruins first. Quote, without receiving relevant news, he did not stay for long. No matter what happens in the outside world, the most important thing is still oneself. As long as one's strength is sufficient, no matter how big the threat is, it can be suppressed. After this, everyone's eyes were a little solemn. The atmosphere of the march also became a little depressing. On the following journey, there were still no wild monsters encountered. It seemed that all the lives in this area were cleared by those unknown evil god believers. It was not until more than an hour later that the news from the front slightly diluted the heaviness of the air. Ancient ruins, here we are. Lear immediately cheered up and led the army to go. Through the smelly muddy land in front, they came to a towering tree with countless vines and a canopy covering a diameter of more than 100 meters. 
Under the guidance of the half-fish captive, he passed through the dense vines and came to the trunk of the tree. When Lear approached, he found that there was a stone door growing on the trunk of this giant tree. The height of the stone door was more than 15 meters, and the width was an astonishing 10 meters. Dense moss grew on it, and the runes engraved on the stone door had long been blurred under the erosion of time. The half-fish captive said in a trembling voice, The respected lord, the chief, said before that this alchemical door has lost its magic power and can only be pushed open by brute force. Lear looked at the exaggerated stone door, and his mouth twitched. How much strength does it take to push it? However, he was still a little unwilling in his heart, and waved his hand to let the wetland lizard man try first. The two-headed ogre chief heard the words and immediately became excited, taking the lead and rushing to the front line. With a height of nearly three meters, he was like a little giant, and his strength was much stronger than that of ordinary wetland lizardmen. The wetland lizardmen behind him pushed forward one by one. However, there were not many places to stand in front of the stone gate, and the vines were overgrown around it, so it could not accommodate too many people. Under the roar of the two-headed ogre chief, more than forty wetland lizardmen exerted their strength at the same time, but in the end, they used all their strength, and the stone gate remained motionless. It felt like pushing a majestic mountain. The two-headed ogre chief, who had always been proud of his strength, finally trembled in his hands. He said unwillingly, Master, clear all the vines around and make a catapult to blast the stone gate open. This stone gate cannot be opened by ordinary manpower. The half-fish captive next to him changed his face. You can't do this, he hurriedly explained. My lord, the chief said before that this big tree was originally part of the ruins. Once the vines or the trunk are destroyed, the ruins are likely to collapse directly. According to the chief's speculation, this ruins has a diameter of at least five kilometers. Lear raised his eyebrows slightly. Five kilometers. No wonder the other party is so honest to find the cyclops. Hearing this, the two-headed ogre chieftain could only stop with a hum of reluctance. Lear stared at the runes on the stone door, and with some thought, he waved his hand to let the wetland lizardman make way, and stepped forward. As he got closer, he could feel the thickness and heaviness of this door more and more. Even if he could use a catapult to smash it, it would be difficult to have an effect. He took a deep breath, pressed his right hand on the stone door, and felt the touch of moss and rock at the same time. His mental power escaped. After a moment, his face was a little subtle. He could feel that the thickness of these two stone doors reached. Three meters. Three meters thick, fifteen meters high, ten meters wide stone door. Are you sure this is not a city wall? At this moment, Lear was a little doubtful whether the Cyclops could push it open. He shook his head and let go of his hand. But at this moment, new information quietly appeared in the intelligence system in his mind. You discovered an ancient ruin that has never been explored. Extra information is obtained. 1. The gate of the ancient ruins is mixed with a unique metal, which is ten times heavier than ordinary rocks. Only the Cyclops can use the power of blood to drive the metal to push the gate. Once you break into it, the energy of the ruins will restart and the gate will close again. Only by reaching the energy core deep in the ruins can the gate be reopened. 2. This ancient ruin is a relic of the goblin civilization. It contains precious treasures, even five-star treasures, but the ruins are also guarded by extremely fierce mechanical puppets, which have reached level 10 and the number exceeds a thousand. The most powerful is the 14th level mechanical puppet king. Looking at the additional refreshed information, Lear was a little surprised, but frowned again after reading it. Good guy, this door is more exaggerated than he imagined. It is mixed with metal and is ten times heavier than ordinary stones. And after entering it, the door will automatically close, and it can only be opened again after passing the level and entering the core. The power of the guardian inside is even more ferocious. However, can it produce five-star treasures? He felt that this was like a bait, tempting him directly. It smells so good, five-star treasures are not much worse than artifacts, right? He looked at the gate deeply. At Go back first, this ruins cannot be explored now. Although the five-star treasures are tempting, they must be obtained. Not to mention other things, the thousands of level 10 mechanical puppets alone are a chasm blocking the road. Mechanical puppets are mechanical creations, and the deadly poison and pain that are fatal to ordinary life have no effect on them. 
The effect of the muddy wasp is almost zero. The rest, how much does he need to pay to kill the wetland lizard man in his hand? Not to mention that there is a level 14 mechanical puppet king guarding. With the current power, there is no way to explore. The order was issued, and the army did not hesitate to turn around and return immediately. On the way, Lear was still a little worried, so he asked the army to disperse on a larger scale to look for traces of the evil god worshippers. Finally, two more places were found for worshipping the evil god. There were hundreds of corpses in each place, all with pierced necks, forming a circle, facing the center. The time of the sacrifice was also within these two days. Although the sacrificial site was found, there was still no trace of the initiator. Finally, watching the sky gradually darken, Lear could only temporarily stop the search and lead the team back. Today's goal was to explore the ancient ruins. He triggered additional intelligence and learned the specific information of the ruins. He had achieved his goal, but the strange sacrifice he found on the way gave him more pressure. He always felt that there was something hidden in the shadows. The vague danger made him feel more threatened. Back in the territory, the sky was already dotted with stars. Bane, who had been waiting for a long time, came out to greet him immediately. My lord, good night. Did you gain anything today? Lear briefly informed the other party of the abnormalities he found today, and finally said. We need to strengthen our vigilance to the south in the next few days. Bane's heart shuddered. The evil god worshippers are a bunch of lunatics, some of whom have even completely lost their minds. And the other party has completed so many sacrifices, their appetite must be getting bigger and bigger. The city of wisdom will be discovered by the other party sooner or later. We need to prepare early. Lear took a deep breath. Of course, I will continue to explore tomorrow. As long as we can find the enemy, it will not be difficult to deal with it. The unknown is the most terrifying. After a brief communication, Bane left with a bit of solemnity and began to instruct his men to strengthen their vigilance. Lear did not stay for long and returned to his tent. But as soon as he sat down, the swamp banshee came to tell him a good news. After a whole day of rehearsals today, they decided to perform Romeo and Juliet tonight. Lear was also interested in this. Let them go to Bane to cooperate. The swamp siren immediately went down excitedly. At night, the crowd who had finished dinner prepared to rest as before. But soon someone noticed that Bane commanded more than 20 people to build a wooden frame in front of the unfinished city hall. A two-meter-high wooden platform was built. The vine fairy controlled a part of the vine to extend out, set up the foundation, and placed the wooden board horizontally on it, and then tied it with vines to make it firm. A rough but tough and uncollapsed wooden platform was built. The fleshy fairies flapped their wings and stayed on the top of the stage one by one. Sitting on a vine that crossed the top of the stage, the light radiating from their bodies was like a little sun. The crowd who had nothing to do after eating gathered around curiously and talked about it. I don't know what this is doing. Soon after the wooden stage was built, a Delsa man came up carefully, took a deep breath, and summoned up his courage to speak loudly to the dark crowd below. Dear residents, today is the first performance of the Dew City Drama Troupe. The three ladies, the respected Swamp Siren, Mar, Marnie, and Mana, will play the leading roles. The name of the play, Romeo and Juliet. After the Delsa man finished his announcement, he bowed and left the stage with trembling legs. The next moment, the light around him suddenly dimmed. The vine fairy extinguished her light. In a moment, a gentle humming reached everyone's ears. The narration of the story sounded at the same time as the singing. Hundreds of years ago, in the capital of the Griffin Empire, there were two big families, the Montague family and the Capulet family. The two families have a deep feud, and Romeo is the heir of the Montague family. Along with the soft narration, the light on the stage suddenly lit up. The Vine Fairy lit herself up again at this moment. Before the crowd below the stage came to their senses, they saw a heroic figure wearing aristocratic clothes, with elegant steps and head held high and chest held high, slowly walking to the center of the stage. This instantly attracted everyone's attention. Romeo was played by one of the Swamp Fairies, and the other party's temperament was perfectly grasped. Everyone instantly knew that this was the protagonist. Then seven or eight Delsa people wearing the same clothes and holding steel knives came to the stage. But after the clothes were changed, they became completely different. Tall and proud, 
The expression on their faces was also very calm. At the beginning, the two families had a fight at the beginning, and the two sides started fighting directly. Although they were all performances, the crowd was watching intently. This form was too novel and interesting. The people below were watching the excitement, but Lear saw that the Delsa people on the stage were completely controlled by the fairies at this moment. It seemed lively, with more than ten people acting with each other. But behind them were three swamp fairies in control. Lines, expressions, and actions. It is a drama of three people. But to outsiders, it is not the case at all. There are many characters on stage, and it does not look monotonous. The props are just a little crude, but those who have not seen the drama do not know what crudeness is. Isn't this how it is designed? Plus the powerful temptation of the banshees singing. The crowd was addicted to it the moment the protagonist appeared on the stage. With the ups and downs of the plot, there was laughter and anger, sweetness and pain. The three swamp banshees felt the surging and unprecedented rich emotional food, and performed more vigorously. After swallowing it repeatedly, the breath was gradually rising. The further it progressed, the more intense the crowd's reaction was. When Juliet was granted marriage and Romeo was driven out of the territory by Juliet's family, the turning point of the story came, and it immediately set off a super climax. Everyone was furious and looked forward to the change of the plot. The horrible emotional food made the swamp banshees almost crazy. When the priest suggested that Juliet fake her own death to avoid family-forced marriage, and then leave with Romeo, the excitement and anticipation reached a new high. Wave after wave, without any pause. The swamp siren experienced for the first time what it felt like to be full. Then, as the plot progressed and approached the end, the crowd almost fell into madness. Completely followed the performers on the stage. Juliet drank the drug to pretend to be dead, but the messenger who delivered the message to Romeo was delayed, so Romeo did not receive it. When he saw Juliet, who was pretending to be dead, he mistakenly thought that his lover was really dead. In grief, after a decisive last kiss, he resolutely drank the poison and fell into his lover's arms. At that moment, the crowd burst into tears uncontrollably. Lear could clearly sense that the aura of the three swamp banshees soared directly at this moment. The level jumped from level 3 to level 5. The surging emotions almost became the top magic potion, which gave them a big improvement. But this is not over yet. Juliet, who woke up, watched her lover die in her arms because of a misunderstanding. In grief and anger, she also drew her sword and committed suicide. A desperate tragedy of mutual love, but ultimately dying in each other's arms, once again made the crowd below explode. The newly upgraded Swamp Siren level was raised from level 5 to level 6. And the waves of emotions made their breath increase. The original ending of the play was that the two big families finally recognized the nature of hatred and resolved the hatred because of the death of their heirs. It was considered to comfort the audience for the death of the two. But Lear directly removed this ending. The final scene was the death of the two. The knife should be used in the most cruel place. Strong resentment and unwillingness, painful emotions, came one after another. After the vine fairy on the stage slowly turned off her lights. After the singing of the swamp siren also stopped, the audience below was still silent in this peerless tragedy and refused to come out. It hurts so much. The two met and fell in love from the beginning, and the sweetness they brought to them was as strong as they died in each other's arms in the end. The audience who experienced the baptism of drama for the first time felt an unprecedented impact. Even after the Delsa people took the stage again and announced the end of the show. The crowd was still reluctant to disperse, and was discussing the performance crazily. They were full of resentment that the two could not be together in the end. They were furious that the messenger delayed the message, and they hated the family that blocked the two. Every discussion and anger would continue to generate emotions. Some people even had different ideas, and the emotions generated in the debate were richer. Backstage, the three swamp banshees looked at Lear with sparkling eyes, as if water could drip out of them. Master, you are so awesome. Their tone was full of sincere admiration. They had been worried before, but judging from the effect, it was hundreds of times stronger than them seducing people to create fear and then killing them. Killing a person, the fear created is strong for a short time, but it will pass in an instant. And there is only one emotion, and the other party will soon become numb. 
But now, almost all emotions are included, including joy, anger, sorrow, and happiness. Before, it was like eating a single recipe and could only eat one kind of food, but now, there are hundreds of dishes in a rich feast. The feeling is completely different. And the most important thing is that this is not a one-time thing. After the performance, there is still a constant flow of emotions that are not inferior to the emotional ups and downs during the performance. Listening to the heated discussions of the crowd, this wave of enthusiasm will not decrease in the next few days. This is simply perfect. Praise the master. Lear smiled knowingly. It is already very good to achieve this effect for the first performance. But keep improving, you will definitely find problems in the performance. Improve them, what can attract people's attention, what distracts the audience, you should be able to have a direct experience. Improve those bad places and strive to polish out a perfect script. In the future, the Weilu City drama troupe will become our trump card. The culture from the other world will not set off a frenzy. These banshees, whose levels have soared to level 6, may not be long before they can reach the potential limit. Level 12. Level 3 swamp banshees can easily shake the enemies will on the battlefield. What effect can level 12 have? He was looking forward to seeing how seductive the singing of the swamp siren would be. Once they were trained, there would be a lot of things that could be done. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.